welcome everybody to another episode of High Rolls D&D. Woohoo! Uh, woohoo! Wow. There's a lot of Mario noises going on just before we went live. That's why. <laughs> uh, welcome, I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Welcome back for another lovely game of Dungeons & Dragons with my friends. Sadly, not all my friends this week, but most of them. On this side, we have Rhiannon and Trot. Uh, sadly, no Kim this week. Kim is away uh, in another another realm, another land. Uh, they're traveling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. On the other side of the table, we've got Tom and Katie. Hello. Uh, so we have got everybody but Kim. We miss you, Kim. We love you. We Hope love you, you, Kim. I don't know if you're love watching. You, Maybe you are. Um, Maybe. Uh, don't know who's going to look no. after Nova uh, this episode. That was one thing I forgot to talk to you all about. I think uh, me. Oh, He's Trot is in charge. He's okay. Nova. Summon Tiangong. <laughs> Shadow. Oh, I'll get it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kim. I'm so glad uh, you've left that in charge with that man. Uh, we don't really have a lot of show notes this week, so we're going to be jumping into it pretty quickly here. Uh, one thing is there is no High Rollers d, &D next week. Uh, I'm what? Be, I'm away being... News to me. I'm away being a wizardess in a field, so... Uh, big LARP time. Big LARP yeah. time. Uh, so no episode next week, um, but then the week after, we should be back on schedule. So. LARPing my ass off. LARPing... Having a LARP. LMAO. Um, yeah. That's what nice. it means. Um, so that's it. That's really the only big notes this week. I don't think there's really anything else to Twitch talk about gone. this week. Twitch coming up. Might as well mention it again. Yeah. We mention it all the time, but it's coming up for 15th and 16th, 16th, 16th and 17th. That's the one. We've got our guests locked down. Yes. We're now thinking about costumes. I, I can actually mention our guests now because I did speak to them Certainly and we do can. have those locked in. Uh, so for our TwitchCon adventure, if you don't know, we're doing a prologue for our next campaign. <gasps> campaign 3 <gasps> It's going to be your first sneak peek at the world of Ilmera, um, or the world of Althea, the continent of Ilmera. Um, and we're going to be doing a prologue episode, which is going to be a live show at TwitchCon on the 16th, Saturday the 16th of July. Around 2 p.m., exact time to be confirmed, uh, but that is roughly when we're planning it. So if you want to come along, buy a ticket, come see the live show, we'd love to see you. You get to see our lovely faces in person, but you can also watch it online if you can't make it out to Amsterdam. Um, but why wouldn't you want to? Come drink lovely beer yeah. um, and have a lovely time. Yeah. Um, the guests that were going to be joining us, because Kim sadly won't be joining us for our TwitchCon adventure. Macaulay but we are Culkin. Huh? It's not Macaulay Aww, Culkin. You're already in it, Tom. Uh, Damn it. We are joined... <laughs> oh, nailed him. Uh, <laughs> nailed me. We are going to be joined by uh, another... <laughs> couple of excellent streamers, uh, Maya, M-Y-R-E. Uh, Maya is a very lovely guy. We've, we, it's going to be our first time playing with Maya, but it does a lot of D&D stuff with the mm. Table Story Twitch channel. So if you're familiar with Table Story, you might have seen Maya on there as well. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool, l amazing voices, really into the RP. I think he's going to have a really good time with us uh, playing. Um, he was very excited about the world when I was telling him about it. So uh, very excited to see that. And a good friend of, well, a friend of mine in Katie's, and I, I don't know if you guys have met them as well, Scott Majus. Major. Woo! Um, Hello. Scott. Well known for Minecraft and just being a lovely, fabulous human being, really. He's very uh, lovely Scottish man. Yes. And uh, I'm very excited to be playing D&D with him. He's finally. genuinely really lovely. He did the Vox Machina stuff with myself. We did some watch party stuff and, and I did that with him. Um, and yeah, really, really lovely dude. And we're very excited to have both of those guys joining us. So, yeah. And it'll be everyone here, so it'll be the four, the five of us. And technically, um, we're canonizing them in campaign three. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They, yeah, they are. So the, while these guys won't be playing their final characters for campaign three, um, the characters that Scott and Maya are going to be playing will definitely be uh, characters that might world. come up later on. Wow. So, yeah, so very, very cool. So come and meet cool. those guys. Very lovely, uh, genuinely lovely chaps. So that's it. Uh, I think that's going to be it for pretty much all the announcements. Uh, all the usual stuff. Subscribe on Twitch if you've got your Twitch Prime. Yep. Go follow the Patreon. Yep. Check out the podcast, all that usual stuff. Yeah. Well. Buy um, some merch. Um, and uh, stay classy, folks. Stay classy. San Diego. Stay, thanks. Thanks. And with that, we're <laughs> going to play Dun Duns. We're just going to jump right into it. Nice quick start this week. Hell yeah. Let's go, Sam.
Welcome back to High Rollers, everybody. Last time, our champions spent time in the Sky City of Horizon, preparing themselves for their upcoming trial against the Titan Kalara. They bought some potions and some scrolls, spoke with allies, and ultimately made ready for their journey ahead. Of particular note was Lucius, who having accidentally wished himself into becoming an Aracocra, requested aid from Vala, a demigoddess with power over time and space. Worried for the potential risks, the process was, however, mostly successful, and Lucius is once again a high elf, though a tiny bit younger, uh, as a teen Lucius, uh, a late teen, very young adult Lucius, uh, has once again joined. And really, there wasn't, that's kind of it for the introduction. There was, it was mainly a sort of preparing and shopping episode. You may now all laugh at <laughs> the laughs that yep. have been held in. Yep, yep, yep. Um, it was a struggle. It was the noise <laughs> that Rhiannon made. It was the noise. She made a really obscene you noise. You need to look at the time, and when it's like five seconds <gasps> in, just go quiet. Oh no, she did it at one. <laughs> one. I couldn't yeah. help it. I had to let it out. The full yeet. Yeah. I bet yeah. that's a little bit in there. I yeah. Let the demon out. You probably, yeah, you probably were. You might have missed it. People were like, was that, did I hear a noise? Was that a rat? Oh, God. A mouse? Oh. So, are we currently in transit or have we not left yet? <laughs> Chris Trot, you are aboard the Storm Chaser. I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> aboard the Storm Chaser. Okay. <laughs> Great. There we go. There we Color go. change. Nice. Amazing. Uh, yes, the airship is, uh, the Storm Chaser, your airship, is en route mm -hmm. um, from Horizon, reaching the northern jungles of Jakesh, which is where you believe uh, the uh, Nightbloom Hold, the headquarters of the Order of the Blackened Rose, Kalara's once uh, mighty knightly champions, who have now become these kind of remorse. Well, no, they are very remorseful killers. Uh, they are very guilt-ridden, sorrowful. Remorseful. Yeah, mournful. Mournful. Mournful killers. Morseless. Mor <laughs> yeah, that's it. They don't have Inspector Morse. <laughs> they have no Morse. They have no Morse. <laughs> um, but no, uh, they, are, morse. they are all headquartered in Nightbloom Hold, which is in the Grave Bloom Valley, which is somewhere in the northern jungles of the continent of Chikesh. You have had Guardian Scouts uh, go and find this place, mm -hmm. and they sent back two of their members, two Guardians, one called Dowser, one called Stave, um, and Stave, using magic, has been sort of showing you a magical map, an illusory map, uh, to help you pinpoint where you need to go. Yeah. Um, and you are, it was about three, four days worth of travel out from Horizon. Uh, you have completed one day of that travel, um, but there are still a couple more days to go. Okay. How is the flight going? Smooth? The smooth flight? sailing? Well, it's funny, that first day was super smooth. Um, oh. So incredibly Buttery. smooth. Um, uh, but th th these next two days, oh, there's a chance it might not be. Okay. Um, it might have been that last time Mark didn't have anything prepared for the journey, <laughs> now Mark does. Oh. Um, so, uh, no, we're going to do some skill checks to see how the journey goes okay. um, and what the weather is like and things like that. Yeah. Um, and then I think I was, I was working closely as navigator, I suppose, with, yes. um, with those holographic maps or holographic S magical maps. Illusory. Illusory maps. maps. Yeah, that um, Stave was created. probably more tech than you've ever got from the Messenger Guild, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we've also got, I've also got like those screens that are displaying all the scry mm -hmm. orbs around the ship and everything. Yep. Like, there's big so crystalline, much crystalline slates that basically act like computer screens. Occasionally, yeah. as you go past one of the screens, <laughs> yeah. Anytime Ayla walks past where she knows there's a sensor, she just... It's like if yeah. you've ever like worked in like an office of a shop or something like that and you just see your mates on the CCTV. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they know that you're watching. I so. feel like I see her giving the middle finger at like the northern prow of the ship and then seconds later she's at the back of the ship doing the same thing. Like, how did she get there so fast? <laughs> Such speedy movement. 45, That's speed. yeah. 45, yeah. 45, 45 movement. Dash. Really bottling around the ship. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, is to, and I guess like as, to reiterate, Lucius has now returned to being a high elf, but yeah, is about 19, I think we said, wasn't it? it was about the equivalent in human years. Equivalent yes. in human years, yeah. Elves in, in Aroes aren't as long lived. Well, the thing is that elves in Aroes aren't Give as long lived as like traditional elves, okay. um, but they do age, like they, they do live longer and they age a bit slower. So like, I had a long adolescence. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had a very short adolescence. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> just, just happened. And Lucius had one tantrum. <laughs> his long hair still mostly, but one side shaved with shaved. Like runes and elven, elven symbols runes and, and stuff. stuff. It's cool mm. as hell. Yeah, and no beard now, just clean shaven. Clean shaven. Cool. All right. A bit more youthful. No, sure. like, 
weird scars on his chest and stuff. Nice. Well, I need three d20s to be rolled, and I don't want to roll them, so I think I will have Rhiannon, Tom, and Katie roll a d20 for me each, please. Okay. <laughs> you can roll the next one. <laughs> well, this will be this will be for day two's morning's weather. Let's hope low rolls are good. So. Six. Six. Four. Four. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. The the weather is clear skies. Uh, the wind it's is calm. Uh, it, there is no rain. It is sunny Lovely. and bright. No rain uh, for the morning. Oh, we left him out there. Ah, <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, so yeah, the the weather is in perfect conditions, which means that there won't be sort of any unexpected events or, or sort of having to deal with harsh weather. Okay. And it also makes it easier for the next thing to happen, which is Quill needs to make a survival check for the navigation. Uh, um, there'll be no penalties to this because the weather is fair. Okay. Okay. Um, boom. Not Natural 20. 20. 32. 32. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the course is clear. Uh, you are... You are. You hurt yourself. There is 100% certainty that you are in going in the right direction. You are making good time. Um, you might even think that, yeah, thanks to that natural 20 and that's such a high survival check, you've easily bought yourself, like, you've gained time. Uh, it's probably going to look more like two days rather than nice. three days. Three oh. days. If you continue, if yeah, as long as you don't have any delays, right? Um, <laughs> We're fine. Nice. Um, and that's just to kind of, like, get a base understanding of, like, have you got lost? What's the weather like? Um, and then for each day, for the, the however many days you travel, we're going to roll a d4 to see an event takes place. One of those events is Valor has recovered enough to try and use her powers on Lucius if Lucius wants her to, right? So I, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of randomness that, like, her power might take a bit longer to come back. She thought it might just be a day, but it might be a couple of days at that. So Cool. White. Uh, so, Chris Trot, I would like you to roll a d4 for me. It's a d4. <laughs> roll a d4. <laughs> One. One? Oh, interesting. Okay. So, as you guys are traveling, okay. on, on the first day, <laughs> on the first day, Benjamin Button. Uh, Kamara, <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is uh, an event that takes place on the thing. Kamara, uh, Lancian, and Penny, along with you know, maybe sort of like six or seven of the wolf pack uh, approach you guys as the, the officers and the champions of Varus. Um, and Kamara say, uh, Captain officers, um, some of the crew have been talking and uh, we know that we've been sort of doing a lot of physical exercise to try and prepare us, but we were thinking maybe a bit more of an in-depth combat training would be useful. You know, we're, we're dealing with enemies a lot stronger than when we used to. Um, and not just physical combat, but also we don't have a lot of experience fighting people that can use magic and, and training and that sort of thing. We were hoping that maybe some of you could give us some tips and pointers, maybe you know run us through some some routines and drills, that sort of thing. Um, really, whatever you think you can offer, but uh, we're we're keen to try and put some practice in while we've got the time. Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily want to be throwing spells directly at you, but I mean, I could certainly teach you what spells look like so you can identify them and before yeah, they've been thrown at you. Tips, tips on how to, you know, if there's a certain, if there's any certain methods that we can use to try and avoid things or things that we should be aware of, stuff like that, it's all, it's all useful. It's really, we don't really know what to expect. I mean, obviously we know how to fight a little bit, but any kind of tactics or training or, or you know, activities that you can put us through, uh, how we would welcome it. Um, and this is really, it's more like you guys, like you guys tell me what you would, if you want to help this crew out and what you're going to do to help them. Oh, cool. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to like make some kind of like a gauntlet type thing. Okay. Set up like obstacles on like the ship deck. Uh-huh. And like teach the crew about like hiding behind things, using cover to protect them from like okay, like projectile spells, like magic missiles and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So like uh, this Teaching is kind of gears of war training of like right three. Here's a wall. You hunker down beside it. And, yeah. Like, move, this is how you move cover to cover and but, like stuff barrels like that. from storage. Like stack them up okay. and like make, nice. Make like a slalom type. Thing. All right. And so and this is obviously a very physical activity, but I wonder 
how much of this is about like so this is more tactical as well as physical like right? positioning where to move yeah. on the battlefield okay so i think for this then sentry i would like you and you're not going to like this because it's not one of your strong suits stats wise <laughs> this would be more of an intelligence based thing this is about tactics <laughs> and positioning and things like that but nice. if you have any training do you have proficiency in history uh, minus one. All right, then that, <laughs> it sounds like it's just going to be a straight intelligence, which I think is a minus one for you. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'd like you to make a roll for me. Twelve? Twelve. Um, it's not a success. It's not a disastrous failure. Um, what you find is you are used to working with guardians mm. who are very good at following orders and they process things very differently to organic humanoid kind of creatures. You know, guardians have very focused minds to tasks. The wolf pack, like two of them bump into each other and they start having an argument like in the middle of this training. And then Kamara is yelling at them to like focus and then people are yelling back and like, and now Howard's crying and like, it just becomes <laughs> like a mess of like a chaotic mess and you can't really, it all got kind of like messed up and like the the, the tactics didn't really gel, right? Yeah. Um. So unfortunately for like that centuries kind of, the, as centuries doing that, we'll see what everyone's doing. I'm going to kind of keep track of your successes and failures here. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, the tactical stuff, the positioning they're, they're not very coordinated and they don't seem to have good ability to sort of communicate and work together that guardians would naturally have so um what about the rest of you guys any ideas i think i will uh have set up in a sort of empty room on the storm chaser yeah, there's like a, a load of and like entry room. crates benches places for people to sit and a almost a stage at the front like and i want to teach room. I want to teach Magic 101. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and just do a lecture. On like offensive, is this like on how to avoid like what offensive spells to watch out for? Is this more like... It's a six hour lecture. A six hour lecture. <laughs> oh each God. of the different schools of magic. Welcome everybody. I hope you are all comfortable. <laughs> now, before we begin, we need a basic understanding of magic all the way through to the intermediate course, which we will be covering in today's lecture. <laughs> Firstly, the eight schools of magic. <laughs> sure. I mean, this sounds like it's going to be a, an arcana check of like how well you can teach this stuff. Yeah. I um, just thought he'd take part in this class, <laughs> and he sat at the back with his feet on the desk. <laughs> and then as soon as he mentions, like, like a book. starts saying the intro, you just hear the scrape. <laughs> the chair, and just his cape billows as he just walks out. <laughs> nice. That unnerved me. Um, I've gone full Orianger <laughs> in this. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, oh my god, uh, 13. 13 is not a success. <laughs> this lecture is really, really bad very today. dull, and the wolf pack do not have the attention span for it. I get um, lost a lot of times, I'm like, no, hang on a minute, I think I should, uh, no, I should talk about this bit first, actually. It's getting a little bit confusing. <laughs> Necromancy first right. is, um, what? hang on. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's raising the, wait, no, maybe I should teach you about... <laughs> radiant damage and, and radiant damage, radiance and that sort of stuff. Every, like nobody is able to follow along. Quill's thing. They're getting distracted. Quill's ambling around all the place. I understand it. Yeah, you understand it perfectly. <laughs> like anybody who's familiar with magic, but the, the wolf pack are just not interested at this point. Like, and they're like, oh, Kamara, you said that we would be training. Like, they're sort of like, shut up. He's trying to teach us. Like, there's a lot of arguing going on. Um, what about anyone else? I was going to oh. try something with... Um, so Ayla has danger sense. Okay. So she's quick to react. So things like spells, mm -hmm. she obviously gets advantage to react quick and try and avoid some of the damage. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to try and take her knowledge of spotting things early mm -hmm. and being dexterous oh, okay. to teach the wolf pack how to be Dodge quick on their feet and yeah, okay. avoid... Yeah. Taking the brunt of hits. Yeah, I think um, make a acrobatics check for me. So this will be like teaching them how to tuck and roll when they like dodge or like yeah, how to yeah, shrink their body and stuff. Good as my flesh. Well, you said dex based and like how to avoid stuff. I think that this is the most. I rolled in that one. Oh my god, we are <laughs> such bad teachers. We're rolling like so, garbage today. I had it set that it was the first three successes, or if you reach three failures, would end the result. <laughs> wow. I will give Chris Trot. If Chris Trot would like to do something. Yes. But, yeah, go on. Um, Lucius will wrangle up the wolf pack as probably they're coming out of Quill's class. Sure. A, a break. Just, it's not actually uh, six hours long. So like if, that, if that's the case, so we had centuries kind of like tactics and positioning. Yeah. 
that didn't go. Then we'll basically say that Ailers was next, mm. and it was basically involved in a lot of like the Wolfpack are quite agile, um, but they don't have necessarily the the same senses that you do. And so it was a lot of like Ayla being like, okay, pretend this rock is a fireball, and then throws a rock, and it just like <laughs> fucking beans a Wolfpack in their head, and they're like. Ah! And like they just are like you're like why didn't you? It's the it's the dodgeball scene of like if you can dodge <laughs> rock, you can dodge a spell. And then it's just a lot yep. of Ayla being throwing rocks and spears and hammers and wrenches at the wolf back, and they don't dodge very well. So they're coming into Quill's thing like nursing like bruises. Raylano's like bandaged them all up. They've all got like ice packs on their heads and like I've got like, like a, uh, uh, a four hour planned lecture. Yeah. They have a break in an, at an hour. Like ninety percent of the wolf pack are there just for the first hour <laughs> after the break. <laughs> Like three right. turn up <laughs> and they're lost they're just yeah. like their books are full of doodles and like <laughs> everything else so and then after that so they come out of Quill's lecture like three of them you find the others are all like playing some sort of game that they've like you know they're probably playing like a kind of sport game that they've got like you know they've set up in the hold or something like that like a kind of footy little indoor footy game um, and you find the rest of them there <laughs> what do you want to do uh, Lucius will get out his Captain Command sword okay. and use it to shout to the entire ship yep um Wolfpack crew, who wants to do a real training session with old Lucius? There's a bit of a groan. Like, oh, I think this was a bad idea, Kamara. Well, look, come on, it's the captain. We've got to do it. Everyone to the top deck come immediately. On, come on. Like, she manages to get them there, but this is a surly. They are not interested. <laughs> like, like, really they're really dragging their feet. They're really dragging their feet. You can see that these guys, that the whole Wolfpack, like, they are. Definitely frustrated. Um, they kind of like lost a lot of confidence. They they kind of uh, it's like a half half blaming the teaching, but then also blaming themselves. Like we're just not good enough. Like we're it's, it's pointless. Like there's that kind of like that kind of vibe in in the atmosphere. Okay, what Lucius is gonna do mm -hmm. as he he's gonna be at the top of the or the front of the ship, mm -hmm. kind of looking down on the the pack. I assume Proud. he's just gonna while they're still discussing amongst each other, throw up a wall of ice that goes right down the middle of the ship and okay. cuts them into two teams. Okay, yeah, nice, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Two teams. Right, every, like, the ice wall, they immediately like, oh! And like, they kind of like are much more alert and focused now. All you have to do is be the winning team to get to me on the count of three. And then after three, I'm gonna unleash every spell I possibly can. Okay. Twin them so that they're going to both sides, and it's basically a gauntlet for the two teams to get to me. Okay. <laughs> oh my Wouldn't you God. say every spell you have? I know some of the spells you yeah. have. Yeah. These are intentionally like throwing them near them and not at them. Right. Okay. So they. Okay. Like it's an obstacle challenge. Gauntlet. All right. A gauntlet. Of there sorts. is still a very high risk here of some of the wolf pack getting quite injured. Good, but I think they love it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hope so. So I think for this, we will make this just pure charisma because this is your force of magic, right? This this is pure importance, real quick. <laughs> would this be? Let me think. Oh, those are good portents. Pretty good. Um, would this be pure, like... Because it's not your knowledge of magic, which would be arcana. That's weird. It's kind of your force and your control of it and not hitting them but making it a dangerous threat. So, yeah, let's say just pure charisma, like your spellcasting ability modifier, which is charisma for you. No proficiency because you're just basically unleashing power, trying not to hit these guys. Oh, no. So just d20 plus charisma mod. 19. 19. Wow. It's enough that the injuries are not serious. Oh, uh, you are, you unleash a prismatic spray and one part of it accidentally clips a wolf pack and they start turning to stone and Greylano like drags them and is like putting like mixtures and stuff on them because before I'm it like, worse. I've got a bit of like recent teenage angst. Yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> well, you should have dodged. <laughs> And like the wolf pack, are like, uh, uh, uh. and the the training is successful in the sense that like it kind of rejuvenates them. They do feel that they've dodged it. There was that element of risk that's kind of got their adrenaline spike. I'm also spiked. hoping that I'm getting the two teams to do a lot of like team bonding, like pulling each other through situations and like make a persuasion check because I think that it's going to depend on when you said like the winner is who gets to me. There's an easy chance that they see it as like, no, we're gonna fuck the other team <laughs> okay, yeah, to fair. stop them winning. A persuasion. Yeah, see if you can kind of subtly encourage them as you're doing stuff. 
Ooh. Plus a seven. Plus, <laughs> plus um, nine total. <laughs> so 16. No. Nope. No. Oh, nine. 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 Oh. You've nine only got total. plus two in persuasion? Oh, sorry, that's plus 10. I was looking at perception. <laughs> 17. 17, that's a oh, bit good. better. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't remember you having such a low persuasion. So I think that, yeah, you do manage to kind of subtly convince them to help each other, and, like, they do work on that. Um, the whole experience definitely rejuvenates some of their confidence, <laughs> and you think you've outweighed some of the negatives that would have <laughs> happened if it had just been the other three's training. Okay, um, well, okay. But there's no... Now Nova's turn to teach. Well, the oh, thing is, no. is it technically already <laughs> failed, and I wanted to, because Trot had a thing you wanted to do, but unfortunately you hit the failure limit. So I think what this is, is that like you basically spend the day doing all these training activities, mm. and Lucius is the last one, right? Nova was planning to do another lecture, mm. and it was immediately like, <laughs> nope. Um, they kind of, everyone cancelled, they signed up She's to... She's the only say, one that stuck around with mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Nova was, and she was correcting most of yours as Hell well. Hell no, was she? <laughs> no, I don't know. What's your intelligence score? My intelligence score? Oh, it has... Yeah, it has its higher. It has its higher, But yeah. I have a book of knowledge. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have that knowledge. No, fine. Um, you're more wisdom. Yeah. So, uh, the thing is, is... So, I think that the Wolfpack, like, the training day is not a success, but it is also not a failure, thanks to Lucius trying to Wasted pull it back time. at the end. <laughs> Wasted yeah. a day. Well, yeah, and so there was a benefit. If they had been successfully trained, there would have been a benefit. Uh, is but there a negative? There was a negative, so neither of those things is going to happen. Uh, okay. It was basically the the crew doesn't feel better or worse than they did <laughs> when they started. They've kind of realized, like, maybe we're in a bit over our heads. It's fine. If we just keep practicing, we'll, maybe we'll be okay. And there's kind of like that kind of attitude oh. is around. Um, Any deaths? But it was pretty bad. Huh? Any deaths? No deaths, but one of the crew members is out for a day with a petrified arm and they're just walking around with one of their arms just stuck turned out to like stone that. like that. Yeah. They're like, I can't, I can't work today. Unfortunately, he was my, also grasping onto the person in front of him. So, <laughs> so, just like so that person they're stuck is stuck together. together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, okay, I, know, I thought that rocks were better than spells. Rocks hurt less than spells, right? So that's my theory. You also threw a lot more of them at us. Yes, yeah, sometimes there's many spells. You also destroyed a crate and threw planks at them. It was there. You got to use what's around you. Another lesson. Use <laughs> what you've got. It's just like you're kind of like, uh huh. They, everyone's terrified of Ayla now. They're also pretty terrified of Captain Lucius having just unloaded all of this magical power. <laughs> I'm exhausted of all the spells. Yeah, you've just you're like uh, super tired. They don't need me. I'll be in my captain's quarters. <laughs> so and the three people that stuck around in my lecture, I am expecting the homework to be returned. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um, so that was that was day one. Uh, okay. And, uh, yeah, a okay. thoroughly uh, exciting thing. Um, um, at the end of the day, uh, this is for the evening, uh, I am going to ask for three more d20 rolls, so we'll do uh, re-trot Tom this time, okay. um, for the, the evening's so weather, um, and then we'll do, need another survival check Six. just before you clock off. This is just a... Uh, this a, is weather. So, re... A nine. Nine. Seventeen. Seventeen, okay. Twelve. Oh, well, higher like is worse. Said that. Um, higher is worse. Well, it depends on your definition of worse. So, it is clear, Bad. it is dry, the temperature <laughs> is moderate, but there is a wind is picking up. There is a slight wind, a light wind, which does make navigation a bit harder because it can obviously drag the, the course of things. Mm -hmm. It also means that the 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 night sleep is, is still restful. You still get a full long's rest and everything else, but it is rocky. Um, you know, you can hear the wind sort of like, you know, creaking the, the ship around you and stuff like that. Um, so this is going to be another survival check from Quill to make sure you stay on course. Okie dokie, 30. 30. Even with the, the, the wind, you keep this ship on the straight and true um, going towards Jakesh, and you will not lose any time. In fact, you are gaining time. Hell yeah. Um, all right. I'm getting some great survival check rolls. And I've got a plus 12 as well. Perfect. Um, the next day, uh, that will cover over until sort of like the afternoon of the next day, uh, that kind of weather. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like Katie, roll a d4 for me. Uh, if you get a one, I will pick What's what event four? takes place. Two. 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 Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> so Lucas as is married again. <laughs> on the second day, <laughs> as you are traveling, uh, the slight wind in the air, but it begins to die down and returns to sort of moderate calm weather. Quill being the navigator, you and Lookout uh, both spot something. 
in the distance. You see a large flock of unusual birds that are flying at a very rapid pace, uh, just a little distance away from the Storm Chaser. Uh, I'm going to describe these birds, and then there'll be checks to see if any of you know what they actually are. The birds are fascinating to you, um, and if you would you alert the crew and sort of like direct everyone to look, look at them, or are you going to yeah. figure out what they are first? Uh, I mean, I'll see what I can from an initial sure. like, yeah, bam. So. You see these birds, they're about the size of a golden eagle, so they're pretty big, um, but they're not the biggest they can possibly be. They're, they're large, natural creatures, but there is something inherently magical about them. They have uh, their eyes, you know, kind of focusing in. You can see that their eyes shimmer with a multicolored magic. Mm -hmm. Their wing tips seem to be almost prismatic. The wings kind of go almost... There's something about the cradle about their wings, uh, their feathers, sorry, as they drip down into this very bold, prismatic color at the tips of their wings. And in their wake, as they fly, they leave a very faint pattern behind them, like a, like a, a trail of magic, almost like a rainbow, yeah. Um, almost, well, more like an aurora, like the cradle itself. Like, they leave this kind of multicolored, hued, Ooh. prismatic trail behind them. Um, if you would like, you can make a nature or an arcana check, Quill, uh, before you tell everyone else. Mm -mm -mm. Arcana would be. That's cool. Oh, God. Uh, 12. <laughs> You do not know these creatures. Oh, I'm a bird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You've never seen any any beasts like this before. Uh, guys, uh, and Lucius, Captain Lucius, and crew, everyone actually. Hi. There's um. Can you see these birds in the distance? The rainbow ones. They, they're very spectral, oh. glowy, shimmery. Yeah, it's probably you have to bring people up to the console and you can bring in the scrying stones to kind of zoom in to like give people a better look. Yeah, they are I'll quite far away. An overall Tiangong, just like give us a perspective on it. Of course, Captain Lucius, Virian, Elowin, and Lanasto. And you see like the screens kind of kind of project this image. Um, and yeah, you all see the same flock of birds. And there's quite a few of them. There's maybe sort of like 20 of them all flying. Some some bigger, some smaller. Wow. Um, Glorious. Yeah. Anybody can make a nature arcana check. Very so, majestic. <laughs> I will roll one for Nova. Nova knows what they are. 17 nature. 25. 17? 25? <laughs> Nine. Nine. Ayla and Lucius and Nova, uh, you know what these creatures are, and I think it will come from a different thing. For, for Ayla, you have heard of these creatures. Uh, they very rarely come down to the lowlands. They are very rare, very, very rare, um, but they are highly sought after. When you maybe were a hunter back a long time ago in the clan, these birds are worth a lot of money. Right, either to be captured alive or dead, um, very very valuable. Like the hunters, like normally, if one of these birds could be captured, it would feed the clan for like months, like six months. Like it would provide tons of value and wealth. Mm. Lucius, you actually know the name of these creatures. Um, these are called aether hawks, um, and they are very very rare. But they are known amongst Sky City, uh, especially amongst high elves, um, because it they have aetherium. Like, the, the, the trail that they're leaving behind is a very, very faint trace of Ethereum that they generate themselves. They seem to just, it drips off their wings, basically, and that's why it leaves it behind in the wake. Uh, they're very rare. They're very uh, suspicious creatures. They generally avoid um, people and, and contact with living beings. Um, and, uh, yeah. they The other thing Lucius would know, uh, a bit more detail, their feathers are very powerful spell components. Um, because they are enriched with Ethereum, a single Aether Hawk feather can replace 50 gold of a spell component cost. Of, so if you needed 300 gold of diamond dust, you could use 50 GP, you could use one of these feathers to knock off 50 gold of that cost. Oh. Now if you see, if you had six of the feathers, that would cover the entire cost of it. Um, it's quite difficult to get feathers off of them. Like, generally, unless you want to ruin the bird and, and prevent it from growing the feathers back and flying, you can only really get two or three at a time. Um, yeah. um, but uh, it's, it's you know, like, if, you, if you're if you careful, like, you've, you've Lucius would probably have known either other rich nobles that maybe had one as a pet or had procured some of these feathers. Um, very, very expensive, very expensive to do. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and there's yeah, there's a, a school of them, sort of like school. I, I don't know what you would call a group, a flight, flock. a flock, yeah, yeah. flock, <laughs> flock of aether hawks. Um, and uh, Nova obviously will excited to be oh, blah, 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 and just so <laughs> uh, identify, Uncanny. identify. Um, Araya also knows what these are, and Araya, 
you kind of see, you've seen a kind of very similar glint in Araya's eye before whenever she talks about money and treasure. She'll say, oh, well, you know, Captain, uh, Aetherhawk's very, very rare, and if we could... Of course I know. If we can capture one, uh, people would buy them for huge sums of gold. That would be great for providing the Alliance with resources. I already knew that. Yes, no, I know. I'm sort of saying I know people that would buy such creatures yeah, if we too. were to capture them. Yep. Oh. Oh, dear. I say... <laughs> Okay. I did tell him that he was still mostly Lucius, but I, I know he's playing into it, so I'm going to let it go. Well, let estrogen. Is that the one? <laughs> no. What's estrogen? <laughs> hormones. You're just, you're just, it's just hormones in general. Yeah, close enough. Testosterone. That one. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I say as captain that we capture them because they're very valuable, and I also know that if you gather their feathers, they're very, very good at replacing spell components. I mean, do you really want to capture one? They look so... Majestic and beautiful. Well, yes. Free? Yeah. All the more reason. Very rare. And they are littered with Ethereum. So, so are we. In our engines. True. But this is pure Ethereum. It leaves a trail behind it. And also, those feathers. We can't, re we can't recreate those with our engines. But look at look at them, Lucius. Look at them. Yes, they're, they're beautiful. beautiful. They're quite beautiful. Um, we could we could but gather very some, useful. Gather some feathers without capturing one of them. I suppose you could, yes. But if we captured one and kept it aboard our ship, we'd treat it very nicely, of course. I mean, is we could there have a, a limitless supply of feathers. But what if they're a family? What if they want to be together? Well, we can't all have family that want to be together. <laughs> Yeah, what frame yeah, is that? Yeah, What's one more, eh? That's true. We'll capture two and they can be buddies. Mm. Also, because of what's recently happened to me, I've got a fresh memory of sky jousting. Uh, uh, right, but how would you... I could utilise my abilities on the field to, you know, capture one. But you need something to fly. I can fly. Oh, you can fly, yeah. No, OK, you're right. <laughs> Me too. I mean, I suppose. Them if they'd want to stay with us. Or I could at least try and ask How them. How could you communicate with them? I can talk to animals. Oh. Oh, well, uh, I mean, and if they say no? Then you we could always. You could always say that Siaska would like them to help us fund, you know, the, the giant world-saving mission that we're on. Because they look all shiny kind of and fly. That would be. Yes, I mean, I could fly with them if we do try. I mean, if you're speaking to them and they say, yes, we want to be captured, then we won't need to do that. True. We're also giving them a head start on knowing that we're trying to capture them by doing that. There is that. They don't like to be captured, just as an FYI, because, you know, when I've hunted them in the past, yeah, not a fan of it. They're so very skittish, very suspicious. Maybe. Cool. They're probably already aware of our presence and are planning to rout. Um, maybe don't use the word capture. Maybe they'd like a lift or something. Maybe they're tired. Alliance. I could hmm. calm their minds before we get to them to ensure they don't just dart away, and then you can try and talk to them. Make a deal. Uh, just ask for a few feathers, and then we'll leave them there. Not capture if they don't want to be captured. Or They look like the cradle, it. though, so I think there's a Siaska angle here. Oh, yeah. That's the Ethereum trail. Mm -hmm. Sure, but world-saving mission. If they're smart, I don't know how smart they are. Some birds are smart. Cool smart. Sure. Yeah. If you wish to try it, um, by all means. Okay, I'll give it a try. What's the plan? I'll cast uh, Speak with Animals. Okay. And, yeah. They're quite far away. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> you give, can definitely hello. yell. I'll give Sentry my captain's command. Okay. So um, that she can speak through it loudly. I'm just seeing, you sure, seeing the range on calm emotions. Temporary, give it back. I mean, <laughs> but this is. I think you might need to be attuned to it, which takes an hour. I'll still give it to her and be like, just project your voice through it. Hello? It's not working. 
<laughs> 60 feet on calm emotions, so I don't uh, think... Araya will say, I can try and get the airship closer to them, but they are very skittish. Uh, if we start getting too close, mm. they will probably try and fly away. Um, as fast as the Storm Chaser is, uh, Aether Hawks are very, very quick. Look, they can be magically fast. Just get Nova to cast invisibility on me. I'll fly out there, capture a couple. We'll be up some feathers. It's not my de- Why are you looking at me? It's not my decision you, you, how to okay. respond to that. You could fly over. It would take me 10 minutes to get ready to fly with. I can cast uh, fly on you if you want to. I can be also a fly diplomatic. naturally. True. You might be yeah, an intimidating bird. bird. Intimidating bird? I'm going to be. Well, I, I'm invisible, right? Am I going to be invisible? I could also fly up there, calm their minds. We get right. closer. Three, three invisibilities, Nova, and I'll okay. cast fly on everybody. I do not believe I am capable of making three people invisible anymore. Since my bonding with Tian Gong, my spell power is somewhat diminished. I believe I could manage two people to be invisible at best, including yourself. One main. I am just checking my data banks. Okay. She's when she's in the ship, mm-hmm. or Tian Gong's in the ship. Mm-hmm. She takes on a very different persona. Yeah, I it's think that might like be Tian Gong. Logical and rigid. Yeah. yeah, that might be Tian Gong speaking. Yes. I can make two creatures. They do not need to include myself. Great. All right. Well, I can do fly on three people. So. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're flying up, I'm flying up. I'm going to, we're going to try the calm thing. I'll hang back. Sure. And you just give me a, a messenger ring that it's gone south. Yep. And be honest. Oh, oh okay. So, you, so let me understand. So Lucius is going to cast fly on Lucius and Sentry. Mm-hmm. Nova's going to make me, Quill and yeah. Lucius invisible. Yeah. And then you're going to fly over to these birds. Sentry's going to try and talk to them. I'm going to go fly up, up to them, them calm want. emotions on as many as I can in one go. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Sentry's going to go up there and talk to them. Okay. Do you want to give Ayla fly as well, or is Ayla just hanging back? I could. Do I you can go? do it at. <laughs> just sure. raging. <laughs> so at. Uh, so it means that Sentry and Ayla will be visible when they fly over, but then the other two won't. I'll hang back. <laughs> okay. So that I don't. Sure. Mess up. All right. So yeah, cast the spell. Yeah. So cast fly. Nova will cast invisibility. Done. Um and uh, you guys fly your way over. Um, to approach them, I would like everybody to make stealth checks. If you're invisible, you have advantage. Excellent. Is this even if we're going? Even if we're holding back? If you're hanging back, still make it, but it will have less impact. It's just generally to kind of help give me a, an idea of their general personality. I have disadvantage personality. on stealth. I have advantage on stealth. Because of my bootsies. Not great. Uh, Not one. great. 21, okay. Yeah, if you're hanging back, it's less, uh, it yeah, has less impact. Uh, the invisible guys, it does still matter, but you have advantage, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are we looking at, Tom? I got 11. An 11, mm-hmm. Chris Trot. I got a 16. 16, and then Sentry. Seven. Seven, <laughs> nice. The birds, the Aether Hawks, are on the cusp of like, they are not running away immediately, but they are like pulling away. Like they, they are definitely spooked a little bit. Um, not massively, they're gonna stick around, but they are, they, they could go, they could bolt at, at the drop of a hat, right? So uh, if things particularly go badly, they might just bolt and fly away. Um, and you can see that they're kind of, the way that they fly is very gentle and soft, but their wings look very powerful and this trail of magic, like Lucius and Ayla would probably know that when they want to, they can basically generate a burst of speed, um, almost like a kind of super expeditious retreat. They can just um, nice. And it lasts for a short period. So do they of time. just look like they're just floating, essentially? Yeah, it's like, like very gentle <laughs> flap of their wings. Like okay. Quill's flying is like you know a good pace to try and keep up with them, but they're just every swoop of their wings is like almost in slow motion, almost it's like, like a manta ray. Yeah, yeah, cool. very yeah manta ray esque. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, so Sentry, you can't speak with animals. So what's the plan? You're just gonna go up and say hi? Um, yeah. Just... Okay. What do you see? Could I do calm emotions first? You can, yeah. Because uh, I feel like if you speak Casting in their a spell minds, will make you no longer invisible and it will have somatic and verbal good. components. But I mean, I'm going to do calm emotions. Okay. Well, if it works, tell, tell me what it does. If it works, then that's great. It, um, suppress strong emotions in a group of 
people. Uh. Does it say? Does it say humanoids? <laughs> humanoid. Ah. Oh. oh, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so Quill. <laughs> it appears there's a flash of magic. The birds fucking. Wait! Oh. They just go. Uh, they, I would say that maybe there's a chance if you want to do something, you can try. Um, but they are basically going to go this round. And they, they go very quickly. They go like 200 feet when they want to. They can just zoom. Uh, so if you want to call out and like try and call to them, you can. Lucius, if you want to do something. Ayla, if you want to do something. Pull out sorry, longbow, take I a shot. Had a vision of call. <laughs> well, that's because the spell is like, by the power of Hesper, I call no, my emotions. But that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Pop out of nowhere. Pop out of nowhere. These birds are like, oh, oh fuck. Mate. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Master of magic. I just Champion paid. of the god of magic and knowledge. I did a fucking lecture on magic. <laughs> <laughs> this spell doesn't work on birds. <laughs> why doesn't it? Why though? Why would you because, use I'll tell you why, Tom, because it says here in the spell each humanoid I know. in a 20 foot radius sphere. Well, that's that's funny. Emotions, but why specifically? So it's like Lucius, like... Oh fucking God. Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, it's their fault. It's their fault, not yeah, yours. It's definitely Wizards' fault. <laughs> oh. uh, so... Sentry, save us! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Lucius, uh, Lucius got a hand up. Uh, no, no, well, if you're going to say something, a cone of cold is going to go past your words. <laughs> oh, my God! No! <laughs> oh. Why is the cone? It's 60 foot, isn't it? I'm using distance spell to 120 feet it. I don't know if distance spell works on area of effect. I don't think. I think it's like it the it's range of the spell. I will check. The range is uh, 60 on cone. Yeah, but I think it's that it's, uh, yeah, no. that's the thing. If a spell that has a range of five feet or greater, you can spend <laughs> one sorcery point to, to double the range of the spell. Friend. How does that work with like a, with a fight now? Cause I don't think, that I, I, I'm gonna make a ruling here, Christron. I know it's okay. gonna disappoint you, but like, cause otherwise you could be like, that's a 40 foot radius fireball for one sorcery point, which is bananas. Sounds pretty cool. No, it, that sounds incredibly <laughs> broken is what it sounds. All right. Um, I'm probably very wrong, but I think that there is gonna be some element to this of like, it is, it's like a distance spell of like, if a range is like 60 foot, like a point within 60 foot, I don't think it's gonna double a okay. cone, for example. Can um, I? <laughs> yes. In which case, unless sure. you want me to cast that in it <laughs> to not it work. Have... No, it's, it will still work. Okay. Um, can I cast? <laughs> yeah, check check the range, because it might say self under range for Cone of Cold, and then it's a 60 foot cone out from self. That's yeah. the, That's the thing, is that okay. the actual range is All self. Right. So, <laughs> can I? Yes. Oh no. Twin, a wall of ice. In the middle of the air. There's what I want twin. to do. Also, is you can't twin wall of ice because it's uh, a single target spell. Not with that attitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not with Sentry those rules. <laughs> uh, so, what do you want to do? Are you cone of colding or are you wall of ice? Well, because um, if you cone of cold. I'm not going to bother with Sentry, I'm going to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Is um, it going to reach them? Yeah you, yeah, you flew up invisibly, like you can, you, you could get, you, you could, if you knew that that was a spell you were going to cast, you would have just been right next to them. Hell yeah, I'm kind of cold. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, it hits every single Aether Hawk. Uh, how much damage does it do? And what's uh, the save? I'm doing this at sixth level, so it's a con save of 18. Yeah, I'm just going to make one roll for most of them, so they fail. How much damage? Excellent, so that's 98. Oh my god. Are you gonna kill them? We're gonna find out, aren't we? Or are we gonna get into a giant fight with many birds? 48. Um, All but three are turned to ice uh, because the spell of Cone of Cold is if it kills a creature, it immediately becomes a statue of ice and it plummets out the sky and falls towards the ocean below you. Uh, Three of them run away. (laughs) So, Sentry, you're like, wait! (laughs) (laughs) Whirlwind vortex of of ice blast past you and you just watch all of these birds turn to ice and then... Now, can I dash downwards and try and... Not quick enough to grab them, no. Like, your flight speed's 60 feet. These things are going to... 120 at dash? Yeah, these things fall at, like, 400 feet around. Like, they zoom. And also, the other thing, you've turned them completely to ice. The feathers no longer have their function as... as, So they're not? uh, No, you turn them to ice. I've preserved them. I don't believe that's how the. I don't think it's. I don't think it's cold of <laughs> cone of preserving. Are they disintegrate in the ice, or are they preserved? Uh, basically, I, well, I'm going to check. My understanding <laughs> is, God. a it's creature killed by this spell becomes a frozen statue until it thaws. Okay, until it thaws. 
All right, so yeah, the, 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 the feathers are still there. So yeah, it is like fridge spell. Um, but these things are going to hit the ocean long before you reach them, because like even at your flight speed, you can't terminal velocity, etc. Like, would they like shatter if they hit the ocean? At this speed? frozen statue. Yeah, I think that they would. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I might say that like maybe you can catch one. I'll be nice. You can catch <laughs> one. In the explosion of Cone of Cold, did any feathers just erupt off them <laughs> and or even the slowly dash. descend? Like the, them dashing away, did any feathers come off? Roll a... I'm not going to give you too many because <laughs> you just killed a bunch of these rare, beautiful animals. D4. D4. I'm really sad. I'm sad too. Because... Four. Four? Oh, like Sentry four feathers. I like... wanted to make friends with the birds. Four I feathers are birds. slowly sort of like from the kind of shock and their burst of speed, four feathers, and from a, a mixture of the ice and, and the spell, four feathers are doing this. Lucius, you dash, and you manage to grab the leg of one of these ice-cold statues as the rest. Ha! <sighs> ah, I got one! Can I try and snatch it off, Lucius? <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I imagine opposed strength checks, I imagine. You're gonna snap it in half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off it. Let's find out. <laughs> I'm oh, scared, he's scary. <laughs> 21. Oh, is it a saving throw? Nope, just straight strength. strength. 19. Lucius manages to, through a mixture of strength, but also, and I think in the contest, like maybe what happens is you go to grab it, you snap its leg off no! the frozen statue, and Lucius manages to like, uh, grab the rest of it. Back to the ship, everybody. This is my win. <laughs> Thank you. I'm furious. <laughs> I don't think we've won, Lucius. He's can already I gone. He's grab, already gone. try and get these four feathers that are yeah, sure. floating? Yeah, yeah, you can sort of, because the, the feathers would sort of like be going a bit slower. I'll just shout, keep flying! It's the best thing you can do! <laughs> just keep going! Leave, please! <laughs> Sentry, this was one of those rare occasions where I felt like you really wanted the birds to survive and I was on your side and now it's all fucked. Uh, just, uh... I just dump the ice onto the... Uh, the top of the deck. Uh huh. I'm very proud of myself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think. Look what I did. Vala, age him immediately. <laughs> Lucius, go to your quarters. I'm the captain. No, here. you just killed three I beautiful this birds. No, no, he Wait, killed seventeen. Seven. Oh my god, he killed three. Got away. But I was hoping to catch more of them, but um, they did plummet. I didn't factor in the ice. And all the weight of it, but uh, I want to call really a to crew think. vote. Commander's vote. Lucius goes to his room. Lucius goes to his room. You can't outvote the captain. Engineer, I... Engineer Nova Vija also votes in favour of Captain Lucius going to his quarters. You better not take this. We... You're leaving that here. Yeah. Well, we better make the most of it, right? Otherwise, this is in vain. <sighs> Unfortunately, they are worth more alive. Uh... But uh, I suppose the feathers we could still recover once it, it does it. Will it thaw? I, it it's looks missing like a leg. A... It won't be very happy when it does. Oh, I think it's very dead, Sentry, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think oh. that it was... It's really dead, yes. Yes. Oh. I really oh. got it. <laughs> I think in all of this, Valor, still looking tired, but as I've been watching this, for the first time, really looks at Lucius and she is not happy. <laughs> what? We kill things all the time. Why are you still here? Go to your quarters. We made a You've vote. You've voted. We made a yeah. vote. Whatever. And Lucius flicks his cape and storms off. Oh, Ooh. I am really I not sure about that. <laughs> Valor will say, I'm really sorry. I, I, I think I, I thought I managed to keep most of his personality intact, but clearly something isn't quite right. It's OK. Um, it's, it's like having an angry princess again. So Can we like, rewind time a, bit... a little bit and uh, stop him from freezing 17 birds? It's it's such a drain on my reason. I don't even have all my full power back. You know, I'm sorry. I, and even then, I don't think, as, as horrible as that was, I, I don't necessarily think that that's something that I, I can change that much. I, I feel like it should be saved for more dire circumstances, but... I'm just worried about him because that was, I mean, yes, of course we fight things and I've seen you fight and, and kill people before, but generally when you don't have a choice, they were very, very rare creatures. And I know that they clearly possessed an element of my mother's magic within them. And that really upset me. I, I need a bit of time. And Max will just be like, come my lady, let's take you back to your quarters. <laughs> 
Okay. This is so milked. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the I put in these beautiful, ever. rare, magical creatures. I you know genuinely what? wanted Sentry to have there a conversation an, with the bird. I put an option in here. If a player would like to befriend the Aether Horse, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of stuff. No, of course you didn't. <laughs> but it was I, in wanted here, Chris to, I wanted them to be our pets on the ship and support us in our magical adventure. I by cannot assisting. wait. Chat is going to hate you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> good. I'm glad Let it happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that like Araya, Araya and the wolf pack don't give a shit. I'll tell you that. Like Araya and the wolf pack are just like yeah, just it's a rare bunch of birds. Yeah. Money. It's a good it's hunt. Um, to his credit. but Val- Valor is like definitely quite upset by it. To his credit, these feathers are very powerful, and I think we might be able to preserve some of the feathers from this one that we've recovered. How it's like, oh yeah, I can pluck that I can pluck that bird nice and lovely. Yeah. Get that. Do you reckon they taste nice? No, no. But century, I mean, it's better we don't waste it. Can't let the poor poor blighter's life go without purpose. At least we could have a lovely dinner. I look to my my navigation screen, there's a camera pointing down. It's just a couple of <laughs> I like turn that away. <laughs> we won't waste this one. <laughs> Here, let me take let me take care of this, and Howard will pick it up very gently and softly. He's like, "I'll go find a nice hot pot for it to go in." I don't think <laughs> I will partake in the meal uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but <laughs> but four feathers. <laughs> He's right; it is very powerful. We could have befriended twenty. We don't know that. All right, for starters, Birds. I'll admit I made a mistake. <laughs> I held back my because... my understanding of the calm emotion spell. <laughs> it was, I feel like it was such a comedy parents because if the spell had worked, none of this would have happened. And then it was just like, disaster, disaster, disaster. Yeah. I just pop out as a hawk, wings way out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, speak of animals. Be calm! Of semantics, so would have well, you'd already been... cast that, though. Like, yeah. You'd already cast that on the ship and then flown out. Yeah. You would have just been like, hello! It would have worked. Yeah. But, yeah. Also, like, there's just a load of birds just flying around, and then suddenly you're like, hey, 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 what's up? Like, guardian. <laughs> just, like, just flying. The other thing is, like, as a, you're another bird, which is, like, twice the size, yeah. and they'd be like, oh, predator! Oh! Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so... To, to clarify what happens very upset. after after about an hour, <laughs> um, Howard, being an, he's an expert cook, he manages to get another three feathers off of the oh. one that had died. Um, Seven's not bad. Uh, like, as a result from this. So if so you Quill want to write down, you have seven Aether Hawk feathers. They're worth fifty GP each. So 350 gold of um What spell was the costs. maximum amount of feathers we could have got? I'm not going to tell you that. I don't think I don't think we need to know that information. Oh god, I we think we do. We well, speak of animals. Would I have like heard their like final thoughts as they were like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yes. You, <would> have, yeah. <laughs> you basically I got a lot of like what is that? Screaming, like like <laughs> like one of them is like flee my children. <laughs> Carl's gone! <laughs> Sorry, are these fucking birds sentient? Yes, of course they're sentient! They're living things, Chris Trump! Like a dog is sentient, a cat is sentient! Of course they're sentient! They did intelligence of ten! They they're smarter than sentry! <laughs> <laughs> they have names like Carl? <laughs> they have names, maybe not Carl, but they're what living the, things! What size are we? Steven! No! <laughs> okay, maybe not sentient, but like <laughs> above, Do you know, they have basic. Sentience? You're not like they're, they're like a family. <laughs> it's like a flock of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> that was like generations. That was like fucking <laughs> grandparents. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That was like a huge generation of these rare things. Stop adding I'm more info. Even notes. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing century hears is we will never emotionally recover from this. <laughs> I don't oh, think any of us will. I wish Kim were here. I wish Kim was here. Oh, oh. It's grandfather's birthday. Let's go out for a nice <laughs> <flight. laughs> 
His final flight. His final flight. One of them was like, yeah, it's like going about passing like the elephants do. Oh, it's your first time flying. Oh, some of them doing were. Really just, well. some of them were just, <laughs> so proud some of you. Of them were some of, this is the most information I've ever had from the I said, other side. I said that, no, I said that before, and I said there were some that were young and I old. mean, this is not far off the cow massacre. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the cows attacked us. They did. They deserved it. This was a bit more cold-blooded. But yeah. They're smarter than sentient. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're smarter than anyone, It was just the question, do, do they have sentience? Okay, that was the wrong one. I, I, I know it was, I know it was. It was just oh, wow. such a funny thing. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Um, for those who oh. wish to partake, Howard does cook up a lovely <laughs> roasted Aether Hawk. I mean, yes, <laughs> Lucius is there and he's like um, sat at the table, just like slamming his fork in, like <laughs> chewing. Like Dennis? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Play me a song, Master Howard. <laughs> it's like, like these aether birds, aether eagles, were the ones that killed your parents. <laughs> yes. No, this is this is Lucius so stewing on what just happened yeah. in his quarters because he got banned to the. He, he got, got told off, oh and now he's God. grumpy. Is it uh, And of, of course, like, the wolf spells. pack and Araya also enjoy the meal, and the wolf pack like they don't give a shit about these birds. They're like, hey, taste. Tastes nice, doesn't it, Captain? It's quite succulent. Delicious. And quite a red light, yes. Nom, 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 You're never welcome. like this before. <laughs> You're welcome. Sentry's nowhere near this. <laughs> <laughs> Howard's tucking in. Howard's like, yeah, yeah. Be better that they do something in their life than just get a wasty, I reckon. <laughs> just tasty, tasty I mean, bird. Yeah, I've, I've kind of got like that survivalist sort of thing. Like, I mean, I don't like that it happened but or it how happened. it happened, <laughs> but we got some materials out of it. We've got some food out of it. Quill, I heard their screams. <laughs> Does Ayla, Ayla partake in the lovely roasted Aether Hawk? I'm not going to eat it, by no, the way. I'm I figured, well, I figured you don't eat cannibal <laughs> all, birds anyway. I'm like, I, I'm not, not there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like on this rare occasion, she genuinely was having one of those moments of rare, Sentry really wants to do this thing. I'm going to support Sentry. <laughs> and so she's not going to partake in this one thing. She's going to just go and get some ale, uh -huh. glare at <laughs> Lucius, and then walk away to meet Sentry. Okay. He makes a point of like taking a big mouthful. <laughs> that is the point. No, it's, tasty. it's delicious. It's delicious. Is, is anyone eating this bird? Do, they, do they anyone look at me afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wolfpack, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, well, they, they've had things like chicken and stuff before. Yeah, but, but, but there is one, a particularly skull. Uh, he was one of the ones that, like, uh, I think, like, got a really serious injury in the meteor swarm, but survived. And he's got like all scarred face and like covered in things. And like he's eating it, and he's got more of like the wolf kind of like facial fort features. And he's like, mm. and then he just looks at Quill. <laughs> he just licks his lips. <laughs> He's like, I've, I've never. I wonder if all special birds taste this nice. I throw a think... bone, a bird bone at his face. Ah, takes it. That's enough. Of that. <laughs> he starts to... picking his teeth with it. Starts like sucking on it. Leave the table. What? What? What have I done? You know what you've done. Yeah, I know what I've done. <laughs> And I know what I'll do. <laughs> you see, just before he leaves, he turns around one last time. He looks at Lu he looks at Quill's like legs, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> he just leaves. They don't need those. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what about <laughs> wings? <laughs> wings, <laughs> those plump drumsticks. Mm. Been having Howard bread for three <laughs> stinking <laughs> days. <laughs> nice. Right. Well, wonderful. Um, I would like three more d20 rolls for the weather, and then a survival check from Quill. Let's have everybody butt trot roll. So I need ones. to. I need to write notes for that day. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And now the weather. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, eight. Eight. So we'll do. We'll go like this way around. Oh, so we'll no. start with with Ayla. Fifteen. Fifteen. Three. Three. Okay. Okay. So it's basically the same. Um, same as it has been. Light wind. Nothing else. No. No other concerns. Oh, good. Okay. So survival check, please. Navigator Quill. Survival. This again. Nothing plus for flying. Twelve. Oh, my Natural God. twenty. Nat Thirty-two again. Wow. A twenty, Jesus. an eighteen, and a twenty on survival okay. check. Incredible. <laughs> So, Zoom in. because, and the wind, I think a part of this as well is like the wind actually, while it has been, you know, moderate, it's actually been in your favor. Mm. And after the second day, you see the continent of Chikesh. Um, and you have arrived 24 hours earlier than you expected. 
Um, uh, wind, will... wind currents. Yeah, basically, and Quill's excellent navigation as well. Yeah. Um, Phenomenal. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Valor has fully recharged, um, but you are going to basically be arriving today. Um, so she will say that she could try and help Lucius, but that means that she will need to basically spend another day or two resting on the Storm Chaser. But you might need that time to like scout out this area yeah. anyway. So it's up to you what you would like to do. Help Lucius as in re-age him. Try to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a chance that she might make him too old. Uh, she or has to try and do it the other way. Baby. <laughs> yeah, or maybe. Maybe baby Lucius will eventually happen. Or I guess you could just go forward again and it's just Aracoke for Lucius again, right? But there are mm, sweet spots. It is, it, it's like a timeline, right? Back in time, and it's created a new time. Yeah, line. that's it, right? Like this is. I'm oh, not going to go into the rules him. of it because time travel rules in anything yeah, don't, don't cement make it. sense. Yeah. Yeah. I reround him back to the timeline where he dies tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if I fast forward him now. Wait a <laughs> second. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Valor's like, well, I am feeling better. I would like to help him. <laughs> she says to everyone else, like, I don't like this sort of rebellious Lucius, uh, and I want him to come back to. The Lucius we know. I feel like we need him to be in his right mind when we, you know, go up against whatever we're going up against. I mean, a more even if I go too far, a more mature Lucius, I think, could That's be. That's not the worst. It's not yeah. the worst. Teenage Lucius is clearly the worst. Oh. Baby Lucius will be better than teenage okay. Lucius. Well, I don't really want to be dealing with the mess, but yes, I suppose. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I, I won't do it without his consent, though. I need him to, to ask for it, or at least be willing to let me try. Were you saying something? Hello, Lucius. Hello. I'm feeling recovered. Um, would you like me to try to get you back to where you were? Oh, no. We're about to arrive, aren't we? We are, but you'll need some time for scouting out the area. I have plenty of is time for recovery. Is it not exhausting? Recover. It is, but I think I'll, I'll be recovered by the time we find Nightbloom Hold. But it's your choice. I mean, I don't want to force you to do something you don't want to do. Well, um, I was forced into my quarters yesterday. We just feel that since you went back to... You're being a dick! <laughs> well... <laughs> sorry, I'm just I learned sorry. from the best. Too slow. Fair point. I don't deny it, but we can fix this one. Yeah. Unfixable. Oh, me. Unfixable. Yeah. We I should say, you. Lucius, I was particularly upset. Uh, uh, those birds, they're very deeply connected to Siaska. I don't think, I don't think you would have been so keen to deal with them the way that you chose to if you were not in this mindset that you're in. You've always been very respectful of Siaska. We've destroyed titans, which are parts of Siaska. <laughs> yes, the, there is a difference. The Captain Lucius that we know <laughs> uh, is uh, kind and considerate, but considerate, considerate, considerate. Yes, and I considered us Your and the value of the feathers. Been Subpar as of late. Oh. Whoa. Are you sure about that, Sentry? Uh, he, he, you've been disrespectful. I How is it we when I, I just straight up called him a dick, but somehow that was worse? I don't know. That was cutting. That was. That's, it's very much the. I'm um, sorry. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Just, People just, say that, that to me all the time. I mean. Was it sorry? Was it too harsh? I'm sorry. No. Hey, he, he, she. He's but, tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> but what Sentry said is correct. No, it didn't uh, mean a thing to me. I I'm just, sorry. Can I give you a hug? I'm really sorry. No. no I don't want one. Oh no, I feel. I'm Fine. Sorry. Change me back, Valor. Whatever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Valor doesn't. doesn't like, I got my. I got my. I got my consent. Okay. <laughs> He's like ranting whilst the transmission yeah. takes place. Well, you never wanted me anyway, so whatever. Uh, <laughs> I would actually, if everyone could help me with this, that would be uh -oh. appreciated. Uh, uh, we're rolling like what do you need? Uh, <clears throat> do you remember how we dealt with with the final forge, the foci? Yeah. I think if all of us, I think if all of us and Nova can focus on the, the Lucius we want to reach to. And this is the same for you as well, Lucius. If you can think to the person you were just before you made the wish, focus on that Lucius. I think it will be a sort of anchor, a guide for me to control the magic. This is teenage Lucius thinking of this though, right? Yeah. Well, it's what Lucius do I want to be? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and so she'll arrange Lucius in the middle, but then she has all of the player characters and herself stand in a sort of circle around. Um, and for this, uh, I would like 
everybody to, yeah, think what Lu what Lucius do you think of? And Valor will sort of say, ideally focus on a moment within the last month. So we're talking basically- Oh, last month? The last sort of oh, like, crap. since you went to the Feywild. <laughs> <Right>? Lungs. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's up to you where you want to pick, but like, she would su suggest like, perhaps from since you went to the Feywild, uh, anything in that sort of time period. The problem is, is the time when he told uh, Callus to shut up. That's who he is right now. That's who he's being this entire time. Well, no, it was older. That was a different thing. That was like, yeah. but like that's. But that was a moment in time to think of. It's not necessarily the personality. It's the period of time. It's perhaps slightly more justified than yeah, yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Random or rare magical birds. This period which, in... which, you know, the justification makes total sense. <laughs> Lucius in this state, by yeah. the way, uh, which I, I am leaning heavily into, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we know. is like fresh bullied. Yeah. But he is, uh, that's his defense at this point in yeah. time in his life. It's like throwing. And also, him. like, you've got all this power now that you didn't yeah. have before, right? Like It's I like totally a teenager that thinks, like, he's better than his parents kind of thing yeah, and, like, yeah. knows best. I get it. I totally get it. But it's also security. <laughs> You don't have to explain. No, it, it makes sense. I, I do get the character. Yeah, it was yeah. fucking funny as well. <laughs> it's it's really like birds don't have sentience, so whatever. Hey! <laughs> so, this one does. <laughs> so, I yeah, so we'll go round. Uh, I guess let's start with Ayla. Think of, can you think think of a moment in time since you went to the Feywild, something Lucius did, something to like focus in on. I remember the Feywild. <laughs> it doesn't oh have God. to be the Feywild. It could be any. It could be the battle in Horizon. It could, that moment with Starbane, if that would stick out to Ayla, the moment where he told Callus to shut up, like if that's probably, a strong that would memory, probably stick with Ayla the most because he was standing up and being loud and yeah, aggressive Combative. and yeah. that and him outsmarting Zarkira with the with the, 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 wish. the spell yeah yeah. So maybe Outsmart that. Outsmarting Zarkira because he was very clever to have done that. Yeah. All right. So the moment where he tricked Zarkira with the, the fainted yeah. spell. All right. Cool. All right. So that's Ayla's going to be a moment. Quill. God, the only thing I can really think of is <clears throat> way before Feywild. This is like episode 10 I've got. So sure. it's way beyond. Well, but if but... that's the first thing that Quill jumps into mind, like we're just going to, you know, go on it. The Watchtower in Rose Meadow. Uh, no, not Rose Meadow, Rose, Rose Hall, Hall. Mm -hmm. um, when I think there was a <clears throat> Lucius and Quill conversation uh, talking very fondly of Valor, and mm -hmm. prior to that, he was daddy's boy, rich Lucius, but that was the conversation where Quill's like, opinion Quill and changed. Lucius sort of became very strong friends mm. and understood each other's goals okay. and ambitions and yeah, sure. aligned. All right. Nice. But it is a very old memory. Sure. Obviously, Kim's not here, so I'm not going to do nervous, but she thinks of one. Uh, Sentry. Uh, more recently, the well, Lucius saying you can do it when Sentry is about to make her speech um, during the... Um, the Forge? Forge. Yeah. Just that Lucius is always supporting. He's always, like, bigging Sentry up. Yeah. Just that moment, like, just before you touch the foci where he was so like, you've got this. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And what is what what point does Lucius think of for himself? So, Lucius thinks he's got all his memories. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's got this teenage angst. Yeah. And self indulgence. Yeah. He thinks he wants to be the Lucius when he still had his parents. Oh. Okay. So going before he knew that they died. He'd wish he could remove that. So, like, still older, but like a couple of years, you know, before, or a year or a couple of years before this all began. It's more like a, I know it's not going to bring him back, but yeah, I want to forget that it yeah. happened. I gotcha. I see. All right. So, Did what would alter the mind? Well, we don't know. No, it's just, it. this is like a whimsical yeah. thinking, like, yeah. well, yeah. I wish I was the Lucius before my parents died, kind of thing. Yeah. So, what I'd like everyone to do is make either it's your choice, it's a wisdom or a charisma saving throw. Christ. I know. Not, not great. Oh. Say. Um, I need to get Wisdom up. or charisma. Oh my god, my wisdom rolls or charisma, yes. You can pick. Saving throw. 17. I don't have a plus one. So, we got 17 from Lucius. 17. I rolled two, so I got a three. 17 from 27. Fail. 27. So, you got a fail for, for uh, Ayla. It's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get up Nova stats here. <clears throat> so I can roll. Really, like, I mean, garbage Jesus today. Christ, plus seven. So 18 for uh, Nova, and then for Vela, uh, that'll be a 15, just barely. So, 
Uh, what that did is everybody who succeeded would cancel out failure. So you basically currently have four successes because you oh. had uh, no five successes because one failure from Ayla, yep. and then we had everyone else succeeded on the saving throw, which is just basically like your mind like focusing and probably like Ailey, it's more like just like your memories get distracted by other things and it's hard to just focus purely on Lucius and like you're like, oh, that fight with Callus was really awesome and like you kind of get distracted by other things. Um, and what that does is that adjusts the odds slightly, right? So if we had five successes, that would be... All right. So... Uh, in this case, you watch as the magic warps over. You see Valor kind of spread her hands out, kind of forming this triangle shape. The spinning clocks and dioceses begin to swirl around her, and you see these familiar geometric shapes kind of appear around Lucius. His body shifts and rapidly ages forward again. Like, you see this kind of in, in seconds, he kind of flashes forward. Um, you see the beard grow back in, you see the hair grow back in, you see the sudden shortcut to the short haired Lucius, you see the scar quickly mend, um, and he arrives a day before the wish was made. Um, and he returns to exactly wow. the same period you were. Uh, it, you pushed the odds over 100%. Oh, Because oh, we wow. had a lot of successes. So. so it doesn't land on before to when parents were alive or before the even no, adventure no, no. began. It was, never, it was never about that. It was never like focusing in on specific periods. It was by thinking of a, tight, a certain Lucius, you were helping Valor anchor herself to like, this so is where I need to hit. the time period that she wanted to hit. Yes, yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it was kind of balanced out. But yeah, so Lucius, you kind of come back in and you have returned to the Lucius you were the day before you made the wish. I wish I were... <laughs> Good job you don't have the ring anymore. Um, I've got the spell. I mean, yeah, <laughs> you could... You to the exact... Hey, as you say that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, like, whoosh, you see Valor sort of collapse, like, kind of fall to her knees, Max catches her, um, and she's just like, oh, I think... We just sort of run forward and did. help pick up Valor. Thank you okay? You. I'm all right, yes, yeah, just very tiring. Um, but you. I think that was better this time. I think that process, I think that was actually a... That really helped, having everybody just focus and help anchor me. That really made a difference. I think that might be something I need to work on. Um, having external foci, I can see why Valena built the forge that way now. It really helps you focus. Um, but I need to rest. I think everything should be, I think everything should be back to normal now. Please go rest, Vela. Yes, Thank I, you. I feel together. Um, like parts of my mind are in the right place now. Other parts were far forward <laughs> and was strange, yes. but um, now I'm feeling as I was, pre-bird. Uh, pre-bird, yeah, I mean, you're not a bird anymore, and, and you've got the, the goatee thing back. Oh, yes, <laughs> there uh, it is. Your hair's grown back. I mean, I'm trying to figure out... Yes. Is everything... I, I'm trying to figure out how old you are, because I'm going to be honest, you were a bird for a while, you were a teenager for a while. I feel the scar. I think round about the right time. Okay, okay, and everything's... Like I said, back to normal. I can only apologize for the <laughs> the previous version of me. I'm sorry for that. Um, it's not something I would have done nowadays, so I'm sorry. I think Max would probably say, youth makes us do things that we we learn from. You don't need to apologize for making mistakes when you are younger. That's the point of growing up, isn't it? Yes, I don't often get the chance to be a teenager for one day amongst being an adult mm. and have everyone witness that, so... Try not to think on it too much, I think. <clears throat> if any of us were to experience the same, well, perhaps not century, I do not know how you quite age. I've been the same my whole life, apart from the prime. Consider yourself quite fortunate. Uh, if I were to go back to the same ages, I think I would probably do some pretty foolish things myself. That stage of my life, life lasts three hours. <laughs> I wish it was... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... Now, Why do you keep bringing up that word in me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why did you be very careful? So much envy. You see what one of the wolf packs like, oh, <laughs> you say that to Quill, and he's like, Write something down and then scurries off. 
I didn't mean to shout at you. I was and warranted. Mad. No, 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 no. I'm just... I've only known how to be around, you know, teenagers and young girls for a, a long time, and that's kind of what I've been programmed to deal with. Well, it worked. I'm, that I'm, got through to me, it cut me to my core. But I feel like I shouldn't have had to. Oh, I killed a rare flock of birds. I think that's justified. And I don't think you had those emotions alone. I think everyone was equally annoyed at me. You I wasn't. It more delicately. <laughs> I throw a bone at him. <laughs> Takes it. <laughs> <laughs> he is now called Bone Eater. <laughs> bone Eater. <clears throat> Our one orcish wolf pack. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, maybe we should focus on the task ahead and... Uh, Stop looking back so much. When you when you say that, Lucius. Stop milking this. <laughs> uh, uh, when you say that, Araya is just like, the captain makes a good point. There's something you all should see. Uh, we're coming into the valley, we're coming into the, the jungle, and I think you need to see this. Uh, and Araya will point your attention to, looking across the landscape, the dense foliage of Northern Jaques, and spiked mountains that jut up through, throughout its thick canopy, you do spot something certainly unusual. A section of the land, a valley, large in size, appears to be drinking in the fading sun's or the morning sun's light as it is dark. At the very edges of this valley, the light quickly fades and blends into a permanent umbra, a twilight, with no lights within, the vague shapes of trees and canopy. Uh, this valley is magically nighttime. Even though it is bright, it is dawn morning. It is early day. It is uh, sorry, pitch midnight in this valley. Wow! Uh, as if and looking at it, it's like a, a, sh a s not quite a sphere of nighttime, but like the light just fades and fades and fades, and then becomes night in this valley. It's very strange to look at because everywhere else is normally lit. Is it like if we were to circle just that area of our vision? It would be like looking at nighttime. I guess it'd be more like it's it's like a watercolor where like the inks bled, right? And it's mm. all become run. So it's like as you get closer to this valley, the darker it becomes. And so on the outskirts of it, it's almost like night, like sunfall kind of time or sunrise. And then it becomes eventually the normal time of day everywhere else. Okay. Um, so it's like this kind of blended, inky uh, miasma, almost. Um, Hmm. Well, I think I know where we need to go. Yeah. Uh, Dowser and Stave will briefly appear just before we take the break, and Stave will say, I'm afraid that it was not like that when we left. Nothing like this? It was... Uh, no, not, not like this at all. Okay. Um, and how long has it been since you were here again? Uh, a few weeks, perhaps? It took us a long time to travel back to Horizon. We did not have an airship. Uh, we had to sail by sea and then uh, catch a ride. Hmm. Troubling. And with that, I'm going to take a five-minute break. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh... with that, that's the end of part one. We will see you for part two. See you then. Bye! Bye! Bye. Welcome back to part two of High Rollers. Our party have been traveling on the Storm Chaser for a couple of days. Some incidents have taken place. We're gonna not linger on them though, as the party have arrived in the northern jungles of Jakesh aboard the Storm Chaser and found, oh, things have gotten complicated yeah. as the Grave Bloom Valley has fallen into what appears to be a magical permanent umbra. A night has fallen on it. Where it should be bright morning daylight, there is only darkness. Um, and that is where we pick things up with the party aboard the Storm Chaser. Yeah. Now, I did mention this before. Uh, Jakesh's jungle is incredibly thick. Uh, the Storm Chaser can only... It can't even land anywhere, but there are a couple of points where you can basically jump off, um, where you could fly down, you could use ropes to actually descend if you got the Storm Chaser close enough. Um, lots of things that you could do. Do we have any Feather Fall tokens? We don't anymore, do we? Not anymore, no. no. But you do have people that can cast fly spells and yeah. people that can naturally fly and stuff like that. Hell yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> that is something to consider. Um, with it being night time, 
Stave can project their illusory map um, and show you where the clearing and the outpost of the Guardian Scouts is, but it is almost impossible to see looking down. Um, because of the ranges involved, things like your dark vision won't work, um, so you are basically staring into a nighttime region, um, and you can just about make out the shapes of the canopy and the shapes of mountains and hills and things like that. Maybe the shape of a river, but it's very hard to see, um, so especially being up high. It isn't darkness, it is just night. It is a, a thick night, like, so like, like a, a cloudless would still night. light up yeah, 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 yeah. A torch would still be visible. Cool. Um, it's not magical darkness. Yeah, it's yeah. not magical darkness. No, no. It's not magical like nighttime. you're not going to be blind when you go down there. But sure. being like hundreds of feet in the air, looking down on it, you can make no discernible. And how big is this area now? Like, 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 yeah, it's a the big entire area. valley is darkness. Or yeah. Nighttime. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole valley is yeah. This and the jungles of Jakarta, the northern Jakarta, is like a massive landmass. Like the valley is a part of it, but it like there's plenty of like just green jungle normally lit all around it as well. Uh, I say jungle. It's like a mixture of foliage. You get like some jungle trees, but then you get like thick woodland kind of like you know black forest, new forest kind of like environment as well. Okay. Um, it's not jungle jungle. So the jungle. Is massive. It's pretty massive. Okay. Yeah. But it's not just jungle. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Araya will put basically put the, the Storm Chaser into a holding pattern um, while you decide what you guys want to do. Um, you have the location of the outpost. Stave will, will on their illusory map, and you can basically figure out, right, it's there. You can't see the clearing and the, the camp, but you know it's there. Um, what do you guys want to do? I mean, I can I can fly down. Obviously, uh, it might be worth bringing out um, Elko, Elnisix? winged Elkos, mm. uh, Elnisix. Uh, Elnisix, yeah, yeah. Um, if, if you want to cast fly, maybe. Yes, I can do that, and we could also be a bit more tentative, considering our range and the darkness. I, I can put some dancing lights in front of us, that sort of thing. Stave and Dowser uh, will say, Dowser will say, well, uh, if you need me, I, I can come with you. Um, if, if you have a way of getting me down there, I, I can help because I, I know the, the camp. Um, okay. Or Stave can come, or you can take one of us down, but it might yeah. make sense to keep Stave up here in case your ship needs to, uh, you know, any, any aid. Um, yes, perhaps one makes sense because we're trying sure. to... Go in. I'm not much of a fighter. If if we encounter the undead, I'm not really good at fighting. But uh, I can make. I'm pretty quiet. I can just hide somewhere if need be. Okay. I'm guessing once you're down there, it's going to be very difficult to get you back on the ship. As difficult it is for me to get down there, I suppose. Yeah. If I can't fly, I mean, if you have spells and things. I mean, um, Elnissix could probably take you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, fine. Uh, do, are you guys going to fly down, or is, are you going to lower the ship? And then, uh, when we arrived, we we you know we we could get off ropes and things sometimes, and have supplies delivered that way. But I don't know if you want to get the ship that close to the the canopy. No, I think we're going to fly down. All right. You want to try and be as quiet as possible. Okay. Um, Infiltration. Makes sense. I can send down a forward scout kind of thing. Uh, okay, oh, I? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hot, uh, Commander Hotshot should still be there uh, preparing things. So. Okay, I'll just make sure everything is okay before we. Go straight down there, sure. obviously. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll cast Arcane Eye sure. and sort of have that continuous yeah, float down. Arcane Eye can go like miles in distance, like there's no range limit or anything. I don't believe so. Um, Arcane Eye, Arcane Eye, Arc, Arcane Eye. Right, who needs fly? Ayla, myself. I think Nova might now. I think she has it, but she's got such limited spell slots. Okay. She would probably say like, "Yeah, can I get fly, please?" <laughs> Especially, if, well, if Sentry's going to be flying on Alan Al 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 I can never say Alnixus. Al Alnixus. Um, if Sentry's going to be flying down, she doesn't need it. Then Nova will probably take it, so she can save a spell slot. Yeah, I'll get Alnixus ready. All right. She could also just levitate her way down. To be fair, but she might save that. I think she'll probably need to follow us because we're kind of like trying to find her. Yeah, I think having fly would make it a lot easier because otherwise she can only go straight down. All right, I've cast or that. Or I can give her a piggyback. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't depends on what level spell you want to spend as well because obviously like a fifth. Yeah, if you wanted to if spend wanted a fourth, spend a then Ayla can probably just can carry, carry it over. Yoga. And it would just be you and Ayla, your cast. Do you want to play. try it first? I'll cast it and see if you fly with her on your back. You do? you know you can carry it. <laughs> Nova is like, no, the heaviest thing on Nova is her armor. <laughs> okay. Fine, I'll cast it fourth. That will save me one. Great. Great. All right. So, uh, Arcanide, do you get the details? Uh, yes, it goes. It goes thirty feet a turn. Okay. But it can go 
infinite distance for okay. an hour of concentration. An hour of concentration. Yeah, so in the 10 minutes that uh, Elna 6 is appearing... That'd probably be enough time for it to go down and do a little scout, because it will take some time to, like... It also only has so. um, 30 feet of... Of visual range. range. Oh, um, that's interesting. So I, I kind of have to scour you have to the get land real a bit. close. Yeah. 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 I think make a survival check for me. Survival. Mm -hmm. And does it have dark vision? Um. Oh, that's a good question. It's I got a uh, twenty-three. Okay. Uh, with survival and dark vision. Let's see. It has. Normal and dark vision. Okay, so it does have dark vision. You yeah. can you can see through its eyes, can't you? Basically, yeah, it's, uh, it's like, like a telepathic sort yeah. of. It's like a third eye. Right. So <laughs> Quill goes into like is concentrating, meditating on this, and what you see, Quill, is as the as the eye descends, the dark vision takes over, and you now get this black and white grayscape. It is very hard to see anything, even with dark vision, because the trees are so thick and closely entangled. Mm -hmm. They create shadows that often obscures a lot of the the light and dark, and like just like. It's quite hard to see even with dark vision down here. Like if a creature was trying to hide, it would have advantage. It would it would camouflage in very very well. Um, the eye scouts around. You do eventually manage to find your way to the outpost, but it does take some time. You're not going to have a long time to scout it before Almisix is ready. Mm -hmm. um, you immediately become aware you have not seen any other guardians, and as the arcane eye, which I believe is invisible, right? Uh, yeah, it's an yeah. invisible sensor. It reaches the camp, and you find tents and a campfire and supplies. It looks like it was abandoned in a hurry. Uh, it looks like it was very quickly, like, you know, there's no sign it is being used right now, um, and it looks like there was, like, a, f a, a panicked kind of rush to leave it. Okay. I think in order to not... Um concern Stave and Dowser, I would kind of just like look to Sentry or whoever I guess catches my eye okay. uh, while I'm sort of focusing on this thing and just gently shake my head. Because um, okay. you guys know what I'm doing, right? <laughs> you know my plan. Uh, so I'll just sort of shake my head like... Mm. Okay. Can, um, I, can I sense any Guardians? Um, you're very high up in the in the storm chaser at the moment. You would have to get you if you got to the ground level, then you could probably start using the matrix to try and sense out any that are close by, um, but not from up here, unfortunately. But once you're on the ground, sure. Nice. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so if that's the ten minutes for uh, Alnus to yeah, appear arrives, I think then we can start heading down, right? Okay. All right. Uh, so Ayla grabs Nova, and you're going to fly down um, and carry uh, Dowser probably on Alnus yeah. Um Okay. Do you yeah. want me to get a miniature for Alnus actually? I can see if I've got one. A Periton miniature. Something like that. I'll have something. Yes, it's a really good one up there. I just locked eyes with <laughs> <laughs> the Chris Trot miniature. <laughs> oh, God, no. Where's that? Oh, you could uh, use the Tiamat one. That'd be fine, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's about the right size, right? I've got a Pegasus. Oh, sweet. You can have a Pegasus. Hell yeah. Because hey. Almasus does have certain sort of things. Uh, I also just realized I probably need one for uh, Dowser, now that Dowser's coming down with you. So I will use... A little Robo Mini? Um, a Transformer. I wish I did. I wish I did. I will use this little invisible, because he's quite stealthy. So I'll use this little, little stealthy boy. Rifling. Where'd he go? To be Dowser. Okay, so... You descend, and any of you who have dark vision, that immediately takes over. Those of you who do not have dark vision, yeah. it is very difficult to see down here, um, to the point where you have maybe about five foot of range around you. Oh, do you cast magical uh, dancing lights? I do have dancing lights. But lights you haven't cast them yet. Um, do you want to... I would rather do it when we land rather yeah. than just make so, us a beacon as we come. <clears throat> Those of you who have dark vision, probably Ayla and Lucius are kind of almost leading the way to this clearing because it is all dense canopy. For flying purposes, the canopy is about 20 feet off the ground, so ground level 20 feet up. So these trees are pretty, pretty damn tall, but once you're under the canopy, there is no real way to get up. You would be going through thick, dense foliage to try and get it up. The clearings, you can just go up and it's just completely clear space. Um, when we get to a battle map, I'll make that a bit more relevant but, mm -hmm. uh, and point out stuff. Um, but yeah, you make your way down into the clearing and yeah, you find exactly what I described to Quill. You find tents, you find campfire, you do find hastily built barricades and defenses, um, but it all looks like it was abandoned rather rapidly. Um, 
you also, as you get down here, there's another thing that you sort of pick up on. Um, it's dark. The jungle is almost silent. There's no animal noises. You don't really hear any kind of like chittering insects or anything like that. And the sound of the Storm Chaser's Ethereum engines are loud, even from down here. Like the presence of the Storm Chaser above is like, you can hear like the Ethereum engines. You can hear the wind kind of like being magically rebuffed around it by the shielding. Um, and it is quite noisy. I might um, just, in my mind, do a messenger ring and see if Arya's got hers on. Yeah, yeah, she's always got hers on, yeah. Yes, Captain? The jungle is eerily quiet and we can hear the ship quite loudly down here. I think it might be drawing attention. Do you want me to take uh, take the ship away? I think so. All right. Best. All right. Um, okay. It revs its engines. <laughs> yeah, they'll basically start. Yeah, you do hear like a kind of <laughs> and it will start to pull away. Uh, as it does, Sentry, mm -hmm. you receive a message in your mind. Ooh. You vaguely recognize this voice. Uh, it is a guardian called Harper. Um, and you hear the message. Sentinel Prime, outpost compromised. Lots of undead and AO. You must hold position. Secure exit route. Please confirm, over. Okay, we've just arrived. Um, okay, we'll keep the exit clear. Thank you for that. As Sentry's responding to this, the rest of you- I guess that was in her head, that yeah. response, yeah. The rest of you, Quill, hears it first, Ayla very closely being a woodland hunter. Movement. A lot of movement. Okay. Oh no. We can bring out the battle map. Uh, you have got a fist full of oh. minis. Oh my fist God. Two skellies. fistfuls. He's got more than that. Is it more than two? <gasps> so it's, many skeletons. It's, it's lots. Spooky scary I'm gonna skeletons. I'm going to come these out in a minute. Someone has been very busy this weekend. A third fistful. Oh, I love this. Okay, no more. A fourth fistful. <laughs> oh my god. I need to actually come around and sort these out in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> a fifth fistful. <laughs> that is so many. That's You're actually going to have to excuse me. I'm going to get in the way of a lot of cameras. <laughs> I That's think... like 50 skeletons. <laughs> Hang on. It's not 50. It's 40. It's 30. 30. Oh. 30. Yes. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, look at these boys. I wanted to have 40 of these Games Workshop ones done, but I did not have the time to... Four of them are unpainted. The rest look great, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> so these are like actual D&D &D minis. And oh, okay. A bunch of them are um, Games Workshop ones I painted, yeah. 20 of them are the ones I did. Eh, um, Man, you've really been... Safe. Look at these beautiful boys. Really been in the workshop. So they are just surrounding us. Yes. Yeah, we are. Just everywhere. Maybe come back, all right? <laughs> I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Oh boy. Okay. What are we gonna do? So. Let me just bring the old encounter up here. Perfect. Emerging, those of you who can see, keep in mind, Dancing Lights isn't up yet. Like, you guys arrived, sent you the message, you're still kind of adjusting. So Quill, like, you're seeing these shapes, but it's barely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You see these lumbering, kind of skittering forms, not slow moving, but quiet and sort of cautiously. <laughs> Bones with pieces of desiccated armor, ancient looking rusted, worn, skeletons in tattered burial clothing <sighs> begin pulling themselves all around the camp. Every single one of them you can see inside its bony rib cages, out its eye sockets, it, interwoven with its bones of its arms. Long black vines and flowers and leaves um, all sprouting these black roses uh, throughout them. Um, also, I forgot this one as well. Oh. Emerging from... What is that? What's that? What is that? <laughs> to the south, Ayla probably sees this before Quill does because of the darkness. You see this mass, green leaves, no, black leaves, in fact, with black rose flowers and long vine-like tendrils with thick barbed spines and skulls buried in its plant-like flesh. 
as they begin to emerge. Now, before we roll initiative, I've got a couple of unique rules here. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm not going to explain everything. There's going to be a unique initiative. You guys are going to roll initiative as normal. Okay. Monster initiatives is quite unique. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't want to be <laughs> here for an hour. Exactly. <laughs> you roll One thing which is important for you guys, the Storm Chaser. Right. It has gone away, so for the first round, this is not going to be available. If you would like to recall the Storm Chaser, you can have the Storm Chaser because it's currently fine, it's in a good state, provide fire support. Oh. But to do this, like there are conditions blind, you have to right? meet. Exactly. You have to illuminate the area with at least 10 feet of bright light. We have to throw a flare down. You have to put a magic <laughs> flare down. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. You then must send a message to Araya, either with the messenger ring or the sending spell, to say that the area is clear and that you, it can be fired upon, right? Because Araya doesn't want to hit any of you, mm -hmm. so she'll only fire it if you give her the, the command to do so. So anybody can do that. So I think Sentry and Lucius both have messenger rings. Either of you can send that message. Quill, you can use the sending spell. Yep. They can do it once per round. Right? Oh, they can have around. their turrets fire. Wow. You, you pick a spot that's illuminated with bright light. They will then fire. I will roll a d20. If I roll under a certain amount, it might veer off and it oh. will have like a random element of being shifted ever so slightly. And it will hit everything in a 10 foot radius. So it's like a 10 foot radius sphere, basically. Um, hmm. And uh, the other thing I'm going to tell you is. Nope, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to keep that secret. Oh. I'm going to keep that secret. Okay. So, sure. Uh, I would like everyone to. Uh, oh, why aren't my. Did I not set this up? My apologies. Give me one second. I just need to. Yeah. Set this for thingy. Save this. Oh, I've got to click run and counter. That's why I've not done it in so long. Silly Billy. Silly Billy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Initiative. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Need to light up an area. Light up an area. How do I do that? Oh, I, I have think to I build close this a temple of the you. gods. My <laughs> <laughs> brick. Mark, having fun? I didn't save the encounter. <laughs> now I've got to rebuild it. There we go. I did it this time. No. I, I imagine you've got them as groups, right? Not as like individual, individual skellies. 30 individual skeletons! No, I, I have them in groups. Uh, they are in okay. pacts. Uh, they, these are minion pacts. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, minions was a thing that was in 4th edition D&D. My friend Matt Colville has done his take on minions in their new book that's coming out. Cool. I've done my own take on minions. Excellent. So, we can see what this looks like. Right, okay. So, initiatives, please, if you can now roll them. Um, done. All right, all right, I'll just have to manually do it. So, Lucius. 15. Quill. Uh, 18. Ayla. 24. Sentry. 24. Uh, uh, in fact, actually, huh, that's lucky. I forgot to put out, uh, you know, we used to have the oh, character finish. that would be for the overlays and stuff. Forgot to put take them out of the combat encounter. They can be Dowser. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. nice. Uh, minus 12, sure. Um, Nova, uh, if somebody else could just have Nova up just to help guide me a little bit, that would be grand. I know it's going to be difficult managing lots of character sheets. Um, so playing a wall. I've done her initiative. Think. That's thirteen. So easy, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast. Yeah, nice. Eldritch Blast. Yeah. <laughs> easy peasy. So, Ayla, oh, as one of the oh, few people nice. that can at least see most of these things on the very outskirts, the very peripheral of the yeah. tree line emerging through, this <laughs> central area is the clearing. So, like, basically, where the, the circle of tents and barricades up is open air. Anything beyond <laughs> the camp is under the canopy. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess what I will do is run towards the group that's to the to my right-hand side, to yeah. the south. I'll first just say to Lucius, lights now, and uh, then yes. I will... So you've got a couple of choices. You've got about another 10 feet of movement. Um, you run south, you can see this plant-like thing and yeah. two groups of six undead on either side of it. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'll go to the group on the that side first. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like tuck in. And just be like, sentry giant thing, let's go. 
just arrange these guys properly in their squares now. Um, I will rage. That's my bonus action. Ooh. You raging? I'm raging. You can put my little circle on me. I could do. A little ragey circle. Yeah, we've got new little... Okay. I'm not going to put rage on you. That's just, that's just a given. Oh, you want rage, okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, condition tokens. Want it. Condition tokens. Yes. <laughs> it's rage. Uh, it may not even be one. I think there's no, a there is one. Earlier. There is one. There is one. Earlier, All right. Yeah. So Ayla is raging. Just yeah. uh, feel free to take a uh, take a uh, t- take a hit. Do what you want. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm so gonna... Yeah, these six things like. <laughs> they re- in fact, they don't really make much noise. <laughs> That's a lie. They don't make much noise. <laughs> wow, really? You're just gonna hook it on the hammer there? Yeah, it makes sense. It's the point of it. Sure. Oh, that's a nat 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, still roll damage. Just um, barrel in there. So, mm-hmm. 40 plus... Don't want to give anything away. Eight, you don't know anything about these things. Nine, five, Do they go in one, down in one hit? How many hit points do they have? Five, we don't know. <laughs> 15, no, nothing. 59 plus 13. Oh, I know exactly what it is. One of these things... Smashes apart. In fact, I'm going to leave. No. Uh, in fact, actually, I am going to leave them there because. So the hammer yep. comes smashing down, <laughs> cracks into one of them. Um, its form seems to collapse under the weight of the hammer, breaks apart. As it does, all of the plants inside of its body seem to bloom and erupt out as it hits the ground. I need you to make a strength saving throw, please, Ayla. Oh, okay. Um, it's probably going to be fine. Advantage. So 18 plus. You are fine. Um, <clears throat> but the area, that space that its its body is in, that's why I've laid it down, is difficult terrain. Gotcha. So as it right. turns okay. into plants all around it, and you, it tries to like grab your limbs, you break free, like it's trying to grapple and restrain you as it, as it exploded. Okay. You want Nova's initiative, uh, by the way. I, I got it. Got it. I roll um, it, it's fine. But if you can do like all of the combat rolls and stuff, that'd be great. Hit another one? Okay, great. Oh, and that might not hit. Hang on. 15, 16, 17, 18 to hit. 18 still hits, okay. yeah. I want yeah. three. Um, oh, God, one on my damage. Uh, 14 damage on the hammer. Oh, I forgot to add my six. Never mind, it doesn't matter. But uh, 14 damage on the hammer, plus two lightning damage. Does not kill it. Plus uh, dex save. That lightning damage will kill it. <laughs> I will. So, can you make another strength save as this one. Blasted into lightning. 13 plus 13. You are fine, but again, the same thing. The area, sure. the body, as it hits the ground, these plants seem to embed and take seed and become this tangled mass um, instead. Uh, end of your turn? Yes. At the end of Ayla's turn, I'm going to activate one of the packs. And this is where they don't have an initiative of their own. I see. They will okay. activate after you guys take it. I'll activate the oh, whole pack. Okay, them, cool. Right? We're alternating. Yeah. And to keep things oh. fresh, I'm going to have this. Pack oh, you get to choose which pack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. So can, can the same pack move like multiple times in a turn? No. Okay. So they won't reset until like the next turn. Very pleased. This pack will rush and basically swarm our Nissix. As the first living thing they see, um, they just rush towards it. And then uh, I'm going to activate their frenzied rush, which means they move another 30 feet and they'll actually move through our Nissix. Um, which means that they have difficult terrain. They basically move at half speed. But our Nissix will take six times six necrotic damage. What? Okay, 36. 36 points of necrotic damage. It's gone. It's 33 HP. They swarm over on this, tearing, ripping, stabbing, slashing, and you watch as like black veins crawl up the peritons' body, kind of, <laughs> kind of cries out as they swarm over it. Um, that's going to be 10 feet of their movement. They're then going to basically surround the quill and sentry. Oh boy. The rest of their movement. And they just seem to rush forward, burst with speed as they do so. Sentry. I'm going to call forth Starbreaker as a bonus action. You lift it up, Starbreaker! <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, go to town on these things. Protect okay. Quill. All right. Um, Hell yeah. Give me those attack rolls. Attack rolls. 
26. What? Uh, hit. One. Yep, hits. Nice. These what? are undead, so you will get your extra 3d8 of damage. Cool beans. Yeah. Divine I mean, smite. Let's do oh, level. Possibly. Can you miss? Level three divine smite. So that'll be 68 total. A one will always miss. All right, here I go. Loading up dice. <laughs> 68 to. Here, here it comes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Uh, I can't see. I'm blind. Six. Thank you. Oh, Two, eight, that's a point. What? I can't let Sentry roll this, but there was something at yeah. the start of Sentry's turn that happens. Okay. Because those, the pack activated after Aelith's turn. And at the start of Sentry's turn, something else happens. Oh, okay. Start. So it's before and. It's not a great role. So they activate so, after your turn, yeah. mm -hmm. and then something happens at the start of Sentry's turn. 14, 20, okay. And something will happen at the start of Quill's turn. But also at the end of Sentry's turn. 45. Maybe. 45 for the first heal. Hit. Right, that first one, I'll do all their thing in a minute. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, when you started your turn Sentry, for every minion within 10 feet of you, you're going to take some damage. Okay. But I guess they're just is slashing just and like clawing, right? This is, this is slashing damage, oh, this is attacking. physical damage, and this is just like oh. ravenous. such That's a ravenous cool. like swarm of thing. I'm not I'm not going to oh, make boy. 30 attack yeah, rolls. Yeah. Yeah. So the way this is going to work, so for each one within 10, which I believe is all six, yep. that's uh, six points of damage per one, so that's 36 slashing damage. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. And then you, can't you be destroy one. one. Oh, well, that's why the Periton took that. I see. The, the Periton, because they used a special thing where they rushed through it. Yeah. Um, that was actually a special action they can only do once. So they rushed through it, they tore it apart, and now they ended their turn. And now they're next it's like to World Sentry. World Z. Z. <laughs> there is an element of that, yeah. Um, so the, when that one dies, I need Quill and Sentry to both make uh, strength saving throws, please. Strength saves. Okay. Go on, Sam! Go on, Sam! That's a uh, mess. Will, you oh, are you restrained. I got a. Do you know we're on that one? One oh, plus okay. one plus what? Three? Yeah. yeah. You are restrained. Um, you That lasts until the end of your next turn. Oh. You can use an action to break <laughs> free. Um, and that space is. Oh, he's got a token okay. for that! I got Thank 24. You. You're fine. <laughs> okay. this. There's so much on there. You're not going to fit it around the skeleton. You also, I will probably, uh, I'm, I'm taking them as far away from the other characters as possible. As we get closer, you might have to be like, I want to kill this one, I want to kill that yeah. one. Because obviously being close to these things mm -hmm. might yeah. cause different effects. So. Okay, I'll swing around and I'll hit one, the one that's closest to Quill. Okay. I'll go for that. <laughs> 19 plus 13. Yep, hits. Okay, let no, we'll do another level 3 Divine Smite. Same again, 68. Plus 2d12. 12, 14. I just thought of something else. 15. Oh, no. There's another thing. 20, 24. It's because of things that Sentry did. 34. 38 for the second one. 38 for the second one. It's 45. Super dead. Uh, is there any Will Lucius Sentry, see? strength saving throws, please. You don't need to, Quill, because you're already restrained. Cool. Ooh, 12. 13. Uh, you are both, all oh, both of you are now also restrained as this burst of plant life latches onto your limbs, your legs, you're like, gah, gah, like you're struggling to move and restraint does give you disadvantage on attack rolls. The other thing, Sentry, to activate Starbreaker, you have to loudly call Starbreaker. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yep. When you do. Oh, God. Oh, my God, like XCOM is not a horde of Oh, my God. <laughs> you Do you remember the Lost I Missions in XCOM? Lost missions. I love so, them. as this loud, like, Starbreaker echoes. Now, these guys don't get to activate this turn because right. they just arrived. So yeah. They don't get to activate this round, but you see another pack. <laughs> Can I just, can I shout? We have to keep the exit clear. There are guardians trapped somewhere in the forest. Sure. Another no, horde arrives. <laughs> I'm oh, not no. going to be that no. mean, but yes. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, at the end of turn. Yeah. At the end of your turn. She says you raging. Will <laughs> um, no, I'll do a different one. Just to... So, oh yeah, there's a horde. I'm fucked. Right next to Ayla. You are about to get surrounded. Yeah. Not including this. Marlborough that's around the corner as well. This kind of reminds me of the Marlborough from Final Fantasy. Is that what they Yeah, called? yeah, very yeah. similar. Yeah. Marlborough. Without the big mouth. Yeah. The uh, they just, yeah, they move, uh, making for this gap between the tents and this small little sort of like wooden palisade um, net behind Ayla as well. Ayla is now, those of you who can see in the darkness looking around, Ayla is surrounded by these things, like just swinging <laughs> the hammer, like... Rah, pff, 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 spinning. Uh, Quill. 
Um, so I need to. Don't take... forget, you do have the, the the storm chaser can. If you do the thing, if you need to refresher on how that works, do just say. Um, so I need to. So at the start of your them. turn, you take six damage for each currently alive uh, one. So that's going to be one, two, three, uh, four. Uh, within 10 feet, I think. Yeah. Uh, this one is technically 10. That's actually out. So it's only three times uh, six. So 18. Uh, 18. Uh, something for you, because this is going to be the first time it's relevant. If you, if these creatures ever have disadvantage, rather than because they're not making attack rolls, disadvantage causes them to do half damage at the start of your turn, right? So they, so they the do. Okay. That would... You could make one less. Yeah, okay. One of them, because protection is only against one attack, yeah. right? Whereas if you had like a spell like Bane, which can affect three of them, those three would do half damage. So mm-hmm. any Didn't effect make... that causes them to be at disadvantage halves their damage. You couldn't use like that defend to just push back a swarm. No. Okay. It would only work for one of each of the minions. Okay. okay. For Quill's relevance, um, any effect that boosts your AC reduces the amount of damage you take. Um, and if you have a okay. thing that you can use in reaction to being hit, you can use it when you would start your turn by taking damage instead, right? So for example, the shield spell, you can activate that in response to about to take loads of damage, and then you get that AC boost, and that reduces the damage you take rather than boosting your AC. Okay, so plus four AC would what, re- reduce it the damage It reduces body. it by four, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, per minion, that would per be. Per minion. Powerful. Yeah. Um, or like, like the, for example, like, you know, other characters like... Um, if not relevant for you guys, but like so a character might have a thing where they can use their reaction to gain plus two AC against an attack, they could reduce one of the minions' attacks by two. Okay. Um, right. I. You are restrained, so your speed is zero. My speed is zero. I want to cast Sunbeam, please. Okay. Uh, it is a concentration, so it will be. I suppose I can get Elder Quill to hold the Arcane Eye, but then its information is transferring to me still. Um, yeah. And. Uh, There's a bonus action to summon Elder Quill, I believe. Yes. Okay. The eye, I won't be able to use it this turn because it's an action to move. But Sunbeam is a 60 foot line, 5 foot wide. So it would hit Sentry if I went like across that horde and into, into the, the horde at the back. Mm-hmm. I could um, take it. You could take it. You do we have could. lines on the thing, Trot? I don't think we do, do we? No, and it's got a sixty-foot line, and, boxes yeah. and, and it's five foot wide, right? Five foot wide. I yes. think I basically, from the center of the map, I can hit pretty much everything. Yeah, I think so. You might not hit the some of the ones on the side in the far off pack. You would have to angle it to. You'd probably miss the two on the very far left hand side. Um, I don't know if I can angle it in such a way that it wouldn't hit, like, someone. Someone. Mm-hmm. Um, unless I did it. Kind of, I think you could, still gonna you hit could hit. You could hit four of them if you didn't want to hit Sentry. I would say, I would say that you can get away with a cheeky. Only four of the minions would get hit. Though. Four, as in the three right next to us, the and two here, and then the two on this far edge here. Like I would kind of argue that you're kind of yeah. striking like a line along here because you could like shift your position a bit, like to be like. I guess I couldn't do like a Sentry duck. <laughs> no. Um, be cool, but no. Sentry. If Sentry wasn't restrained, I might like do a reaction or something. Okay, um, <laughs> I will cast it uh, through Sentry. <laughs> okay. Um, and I want to hit. I guess with a five foot line, I can. I, it looks like I can probably hit the four in the group surrounding us. Mm, I'd say you can hit three in the group surrounding you because okay. it's only a five foot line, so it's not going to hit the ones on the edges. I would say you can hit seven uh, if you hit Sentry as well. So three in our group, four in the group. Four in the around. group behind. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, they make. Um, a constitution saving throw. Uh, they fail all saving throws automatically. I am not oh. rolling seven saving throws. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so they fail all saving throws, but they are also immune to a lot of conditions because they are a swarm of hive mind zombies or skeletons mm-hmm. in this case. Um, um, nice. Like well, I roll six d8. It's a 22 save. I saved. Oh, it, uh, it is. Yeah, so half. Oh, damage. wait. I got, it is a 22 to. It's two save. So I got two it. beat, so I think, yeah, you do beat it? Yeah, equal, beats. equal to, yeah, equal to a beat. Amazing. Um, so half damage. Nice. So you take half of 38. Oh, cool. Um, 19. So 19. Awesome. Um, so, a couple of things. Uh, they are all blinded, by the way. They're dead. They're dead. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. And then if somebody can lean over and knock these four over. The four my side. Um, because they do create difficult terrain, yeah. 
these four? Yeah, those four, exactly. Oh, right, yeah. And then uh, it doesn't matter because you're all restrained, so all of these things explode into thingy, but the area does become difficult, um, kind of collapses as this big beam of light, right? Ooh. I mean... Oh, no! <laughs> Many oh bombs. my god! You killed seven, <laughs> but you brought another six. Significant so really light one. and sound seems to attract yeah. more of these things. Again, it can't activate this turn, but it's there. Uh, so, Fuck. Quill. <laughs> you killed one, basically. I can do this like every turn for a minute. But I mean, it's so powerful. The ones yeah, that survive but you're are blind. Being proud every time. Am I? They don't survive. They can't be but you're that... Gonna... Look, they you, you killed seven. <laughs> Probably tons, mate. <laughs> you killed seven and you got six back. I mean, it, at That's this a, rate... It's a gain of one. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, well, Quill, anything else on your turn? Um, no, I, no, I don't... <sighs> no. How do the um, how do the vines and flowers and things are they consistently like writhing, like the ones that are restraining us? Are they still yeah. like alive? Oh, the like plants are, yeah. But the sunbeam's probably burning them. Sunbeam is. Do they screech and wail and boil in the radiant light? Are the vines like black, like the roses? Yes. Are they yep. sentient? All the plant life. Are they <laughs> sentient? Are plants sentient? <laughs> yes. Uh, they do uh, have pain. So, yeah, if you could flip pain. those up for me. Um, that pack is going to activate, and I am going to activate their Frenzied Rush. This is a once yes. thing that oh they can God. only once. Oh, no. So, no. Oh, shit. And Dowser. Dowser's going to die. Dowser's dead. Yeah, Dowser's going to die. 36 necrotic damage to Nova and Dowser, basically. Um, Dowser uh, is unconscious by that. Um, he's not dead, but he is unconscious. Um, and then Nova takes 36 necrotic. Right. Um, but that's <laughs> oh my God. them done. Uh, Lucius. He only had 36 or less than 36. Yeah, he's only a little tiny scout. He was like, I can hide. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lucius being restrained. So at the start of your turn, Lucius, that is one, two, three, four... Four times six, 12, Four. 24. Mm -hmm. Slashing. Okay. So at least you will get your resistance saver. Hmm. That's not what I'm worried about. It's the, amount, <laughs> the sheer amount. Yeah. And what? the fact that three of them are restrained. You guys knew, you were told that there was a lot of undead in these valleys. Someone tell the storm chaser to come for the yeah, love yeah, of fuck. The first thing I'm going to do is message Ring Araya saying, change of plan, please come back. Please, <laughs> please shoot, come it, back. shoot and hit the light. Uh, yes, if you can illuminate the area we need to strike. I, we can't see lights. anything from up here. Um, but yes, we're on our way. Thank you. So next turn, you'll be able to use the storm chaser to attack. Oh no, if we do significant light, we're just going to get more. The sunbeam is crazy amounts of light. Dancing right. lights or the light cantrip or something like that is fine. The sunbeam is also illuminating that path currently. Um, but if Quill wants to move it, that Gosh. will be where it is, right? So he has to leave it in that position. So it, it, it's like a 60 foot long line. Yeah, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's basically, and then 20 foot on either side of that line is, is brightly lit, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we can communicate like a Halfway down this line. <laughs> yeah, maybe. This end of it is us. Maybe. Don't shoot here. <laughs> it might make it harder for them to get a more accurate thing. Like, is whereas like it's a flare, like, like yeah. a single light yeah, or like a dancing target. light, they're like that bit. Um, dancing light. Yeah. I don't think dancing light is powerful enough. Actually, yeah. I don't think it has enough brightness. But the light cantrip would. I have an in betweeny well. one. But yeah. Or maybe if you put all four on the same spot, that would be bright enough. I think. Um, I have oh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it, it is significant. So like Starbreaker, it says in Starbreaker's rules that Sentry has to shout Starbreaker. Um, things like Fireball is an explosion yeah, of fire. Yeah. Um, lightning Bolt is gonna, Lightning Bolt might be okay because it's not Thunder, but Thunder Wave is like a, it yeah, makes like a cacophonous loud sound. So it says bolt in the rules. Doesn't make a noise. It makes like a crack, yeah. but it, it's and it's like, like a flash, but it's not like a big sound. Thunder wave is 300 feet. Some spells will be okay, but you need to consider what spells you <laughs> it use does carefully. Say thunder wave. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, um, and then I'm going to rule it on like things like fireball. It's an explosion. Well, yeah. It's going to. And also, sun, yeah, sunbeam makes sense. Five foot line of 60 foot. <laughs> of bright light. What about Eldritch sun? Blast? 
Eldritch Blast would be fine. Yeah, because Nova's used it before and it kind of makes light noises, but no more than like a hammer or yeah. sword strike. Yeah, it's force damage. Trots down, look at it, isn't he? Exactly his tool. <laughs> okay. So, Lucius. Considering we've got the sun thing sorted out, I'm going to do a 20 foot radius vitriolic sphere. Yeah. Just on Ayla and what? the whole surrounding area. So, on Ayla, yeah? 20 foot radius? Yeah, it's gonna hit all of them. <laughs> Um, so I'm hoping that Vitriolic Sphere is yeah. not as loud. It just splashes acid on everything rather yeah, than erupting in fire and flame. Great. I think it's Dex save. Dex save of 18. Save advantage. Of 18? Yeah. Let's mm-hmm. mm-hmm. well, show. I mean, to be honest, even if you oh. I rolled an 18, so plus 5. All right, so you see, so that's half damage. So this is... Good. Like I said, uh, the only thing that does get a saving throw is the big plant mass. Oh, it's acid resistant. Interesting. Well, it might also just Which save. Also no, it just it's creature. not a crowd of like a hundred uh, things. The big plant thing does fail. Okay. So they all. 14d4. Yep. Okay. I'll just roll that on here and crash my iPad. Here we go. That is a total of 41 acid. Wait, Oof. 42. Every single one of these on there. Yeah. Half to 21. 20. Uh, 21. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, no, it's not. God, just all of these things save? at the same yes. time just spitting out vines and flowers. Oh, yeah. Technically, <gasps> technically you got to make 12 of them, Ayla. Really? Yeah, every single one goes down. Yeah. And you might roll a one. Uh, just keep going to each keep rolling until you roll a one. Um, I think you succeed. Oh, what's your bonus to strength save? 13. 13. Uh, if you what's roll... success? Yeah, that's what I'm going to work out. Uh, Death Bloom, <laughs> DC 16. So what was your pass? 13. 13. 13. So if you roll a three or less, you fail. Or two or less, even. Okay, yeah, and I have advantage on all of them as yeah. well, so I actually have to roll twice. Uh-huh. Nope. That's a pass. And then how much damage was it, Lucius? 40 well, something? That would be a pass. Um, it was. Pass. How many? 12. 21 was oh, half, so 42. Four. That will pass five. And it'll pass do half 20. next turn. This no, it, it does like a set Ooh. amount. So. Wait, no, but that was that was with the advantage. So now you do so, advantage. No, no, I did one before, which was the five. No, I've been every time you've done a first roll. Oh. I've been moving on to yeah, the next five. one. Oh, oh no, I failed. You actually failed a one or two. You're restrained. <laughs> so seventy. Okay, points. there's get, nothing around me though, right? Th- not alive, but there's all this mass of plants, and like right. the area okay. around you is now difficult terrain. And then yeah, you get engulfed by these things. That was the only way you're going to fail by. Because I've coated this area in acid. Is yes. that going to disrupt the? Might do. Plant. Yeah. Growth. Might do. Okay. Might, if, it, it will continue to burn. Like the initial blast wipes these skeletons out, um, yeah. and you just watch as twelve of them just collapse to the ground. They all burst into this foliage, and the foliage is burning. You see the big root creature is definitely kind of like undulating bubbling. and bubbling. Yeah. Ugh. Cool. Um, um, I'll send a dichromancy bolt of acid at. Actually, is that thirty feet from there? Uh, yeah, it should yeah, be. Probably. I think so. I think so. I'll, I'll take it. I'll fling it at it um, for ten. Another 10 points of acid damage at the big plant thing. Yeah. The dead root. The dead root. Mm-hmm. Cool name. Nice. All right. Oh. Uh, are you done? Lucius Vera and Elanaste. Yes. <laughs> Lucius Vera and Elanaste. Uh, these ones can't activate. These ones, Tom Hazel. Yep. Can you bring them in? How far? Uh, 30 feet. This oh, way. God, just meeting up with the other horde. Yeah. Uh. And the acids, the acid, by the way, does not seem to draw any more to Good. That was the hope. Lands on tall, lands on tall. I imagine it's like a steamy, like, mm-hmm. sound. Tss. Yeah, where it burns. So, uh, on Nova's turn... What a one, mess two, of three, minis. Four, five, six, <laughs> I know. Seven, uh, seven times six. Um, 42, six. isn't it? 42. Yeah. yeah, 42. 42, Nova takes 42 slashing damage. Ooh. And poor little Dowser oh, takes an auto dead. crit. No, just one. He just he's on two failed death saves. Oh, he's not gonna get res because <laughs> nobody. He might can. do. He might do. Everyone's restrained. <laughs> well, uh, you know. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I Sentry's can. not. Um, oh no, Sentry is. Um, yeah, yeah, Sentry is. Yeah. Nova's not. That's that's who isn't. Yeah, uh, just a, whose just turn it is? 
Nova Vija. It is a strength like action, right? Okay. To... Uh, you can use an action to break free of it. Like, is Nova restrained? I forgot. No, she's, she's not. not. Okay, she is going to. <laughs> War crime? Uh, she's going to use she have that anymore. her multi attack to basically attack everything around her. As much as she can. Yep. So I think and she, she gets... misty step as a bonus action as she well. Misty step yeah. as a bonus, a bonus action. I reckon what she'd do is misty step two as close to Dowser as possible and start attacking all the skeletons she around. Go like basically behind him like this. Yeah. And then uh, she technically be on like this space here, but there's like a big fence in the way. So, so yeah. she can hit one, two, three. I would say she can hit three of them. Okay. Yeah. That's a twenty-seven. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. Do yeah. Do the attack rolls because they each are individual creatures. So. Oh, yeah, that hits 26, and that one is a uh, 18. Yep, that hits. Yeah. All right, so, and then it's a. If it's it's versatile. Yes, she so doesn't. She uses D10. it one-handed, so it's a D8. Oh, okay. Yeah, because she, she has a shield in the other. Okay, so D8 plus nine is that's a seven. Six. Um. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen does not kill the first one. Okay. Um, I think she's just wildly slashing, so she wouldn't focus on one. Okay. She'll just so she moves on to next one. Three. I don't know. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen does not kill the next one. Oh. Ten. All right. So she hits all three, wounds them. The sword kind of cleaving through, breaking bones, shattering armor. But the three that she struck are still staggering and alive. Uh, as unalive, as alive as undead can be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> action surge. Okay. So she can make another three attacks. Same three. Same three. Okay. Seventeen plus too much three though. Um, that's plus thirteen, so twenty. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen just hits. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that hits. So three more. Mm -hmm. And it's the three same ones. So she's going to strike the same three again. <laughs> What's that D8? The first one will die. Uh, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, that's an eight plus nine. Yep. Um, Five plus yeah, nine is 14. That one goes down. And this one is a uh, 11. Uh, that will also go down. Because uh, they're not in range of this. No. Um, nice. All so, good. yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, can Nova make three strength saving throws? <laughs> That's a five. Oh, she's plus restrained. Minus two. Yeah. Yep. That's all right. Don't need to make any more. Uh, so she gets there and just. The, <laughs> the uh, guardian is uh, restrained as well, right? Even though he's downed right now. Yeah. Uh, and then I believe the only pack I can activate anymore is just these two little dudes at the end. So when you get a chance, Chris Trot, just bring those guys. Oh, with in. pleasure. They just move forward, and that is going to be all of the minion packs. So it is the Dead Roots turn. And the dead root. That's the is, big boy, right? That is the big creature. It's going to kind of. It just seems to walk through this foliage completely unfazed. Is it like being held up by the vines on the ground? Uh, it kind of. They just seem to like push it up. Like yeah. the vines almost help it move. It's going to kind of move closer to like the big mass melee in the middle. Um, and then against Lucius and Quill, it is going to use its poisonous touch to hit you guys. Boy. Uh, in fact, I'll roll normal d20, actually. So uh, against Lucius, that is a 13 to hit. Uh, mm, yeah, that doesn't hit. And against Quill, that was a natural one. So oh. these two big vines kind of snap around, but do not seem to do it. As it gets closer... Do they get advantage because <laughs> we're restrained? Oh it does. no! Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So actually, Lucius, that would be a twenty-five. That hits. And against Quill, that would be a twenty. <laughs> hey, he just did a tom. I just got tommed real hard. How does it feel? It feels pretty good. <laughs> I like to play by the rules. Fifteen. Seventeen <laughs> poison. Seventeen poison damage to you, Lucius. And can you make a con save? Oh, I have resistance to poison. Oh, I have an armor. Yeah, baby. Sixteen. So half to eight. Hell yeah. And a save constitution saving throw. Yep. Um, that's twenty-six. 26, okay, yeah. you're fine. But fail? Uh, 46. You are poisoned. Can I be poisoned with poison resistance? You can. Okay. Poison resistance just gives you uh, takes half damage. Poison the condition, you have disadvantage on pretty much everything. Yep. 
Uh, uh, and that lasts for a minute. So you can go oh and add boy. a little ringy to yourself. Disadvantage as well. on attack rolls and ability checks. Yep. Saving throw at the end of your turn can end the effect. The other thing you will notice as this thing draws closer, because it didn't really get a chance to do this, um, the group around it. As it draws closer, you watch as all of these minion undead, the flowers and things in them seem to almost pulse and grow stronger and the creatures become faster. Um, <laughs> and they seem to become more tougher, like the, the, the plants oh, wrap around them like armor. Um, the ones that are alive? Yes. The ones yeah. Yeah, surrounding the boy. Yeah. Gotcha. The, the um, ones on the floor aren't being absorbed by it, are they? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> At the start of a round, I have some bad news. Not yet. No! Another fist full of scales! <laughs> you haven't even removed the That's ones the we've killed. Like, really? like, I, I will have to do that soon. Yeah. Uh, so I think I'm going to make a very impromptu rule that after a, a, a round, they decompose and then I get the miniatures back. Okay. Um, uh, we jump to the you top of have round camp. two. Huh? You could just have a cap. Like no, no, no. <laughs> There's no cap to the this. Encounter. struggling to run what, all the <laughs> What was the message that you got sent? Hold? Hold, hold the position? Hold the yeah. position. Uh, Ayla. Hold the line. So you uh, don't have any living ones. No, but I'm restrained. You, so you are restrained. I have to spend my action. Right. Uh, you, it will go at the end of your turn. So if you wait until the end of your turn, the restraint will go anyway. Oh. Or you can use an action to break free if you desperately wanted to move now. Can I okay. still throw it? You can still throw a thing. You have disadvantage on attack rolls, but... So if you wanted to, like, throw a line... That's like... pretty much what I want to do. I want to throw yeah. a line and get as so many as possible. So you would hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I would say. Oh, okay. hell of a line. I'll do that. Okay. Um, uh, so I have disadvantage. Yeah, so and it's only I the rolled last... 11 twice, so plus 13. Yeah, the, that's for the last one. The rest of them have to make a deck save I throw, and they fail those automatically. Yeah. So, so just give me the damage for the ones in the line. So these are the ones with the deck save. Okay. Does the death root? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, the death root needs to make yeah. a save. Yeah. It fails. Okay. It's yeah. very slow. It does not uh, seem to be particularly agile. So 15 plus 12. Six. Is it like so the strangest thing? Creature? 21 damage to the dude at the end of the line. Okay. And then and how then much on plus. the plus? And then 46 for the rest of them, I think, right? One, six. I like how you say Stranger ten, Things ten. creature. But Learn. the Stranger Things creatures are D&D Fif creatures. 15 damage to everyone else. <laughs> the line of lightning is not enough to destroy <laughs> any of the. You know the one I mean, there, right? Yeah. Uh, apart from the one at the end, which also got whacked by the hammer. Yep. Then goes down. Yep. Uh, cool. There's no creatures nearby for it to affect, so. And now I'm not restrained? Uh, and then at the end of your turn, you are no longer restrained. Is that Doody What's It in 10 feet of me? The big dude? Uh, I would say that they are no, they are 5, oh. 10, 15, because I actually put them sort of here. So, five, yeah, they're 15 feet away, unfortunately. Yeah. Back. Yeah. You know, I'm done each. then. No, okay. my aura is 10. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, after Ayla's turn, I activate a pack. Uh, and I'm just going to activate this new boy. Pack to me. <laughs> they basically spring on Nova from behind. Oh, man. Sentry. <laughs> uh, um, At the start of your turn, Sentry. How many we got? Loads. <laughs> Two. No, you've three. got a lot of dead ones. Yeah, there's a lot of dead ones. I would say four. So right. 28 points of slash damage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I am restrained. It's kind of t hard to tell. I'm going to. I'm going to. What ones are tipped over and which ones aren't at this point? I can see. But I'm going to. Like, I think I'm going to clear all of these ones away. Because we know that in these, they're going to go by the time they get moved again. Right. Okay. Take the rage away. Give me my rain. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Do you just if you need to think while I'm picking up miniatures. I'm having a little that's thing. Fine. Um, I don't so need I'm to take that many. I can't cast oh, spells. I need that many back. What do you mean you can't cast spells? Can I cast spells? You can cast spells yes. while you're restrained. Spell? Restrained is no Disadvantage on attack rolls. Um, creatures attacking you have advantage. Oh God. <laughs> Can oh, I kind of want to? St oh. <laughs> All the stuff I want to do is loud. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, to be fair, like, we know how big a horde it attracts. So if you can take out more than that with this loud attack... Which also, like, don't forget you're a team as well. Like, Lucius took out two packs of them, basically, with one spell. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't attract any more. Imagine if I was the angsty teen and I did that. <sighs> you would have been so cocky. So, so cocky. You'd be like, hell yeah! I just kicked Look your ass! I did! <laughs> Another six come in. <laughs> Dead. Oh, God. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do Aura of Life. Um, so that gives each non-hostile creature in the aura, 30 feet aura around me, has resistance to necrotic damage, and its hit point maximum can't be reduced. Oh. Um, oh, okay. And also, a living creature in the in the aura gains one hit point when they start in the aura with no hit points. So someone. Okay. Oh, it it, it stabilizes. What stabilizes. range is it? Uh, 30 feet. Right yeah. Yeah, okay. He'd get yeah. up. So yeah. Get him up. Get up this turn. Everyone actually. I Providing think he doesn't is... take any more damage. Really. So I'm gonna. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm okay. Stay so you watch as like sentry like this wave of magic pulses out from you. So who goes Great. first then? The zombies on on his turn or sentry's aura? That's a great question. That's a great out. question. Um. End of turn? I'm going to stay next to Quill. Right. So you, the restraining effect goes away. You're no longer restrained, but that's at the very end of your turn. I will then activate another pack. And, and those are gone. There's a few of these. They still are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So when you say a pack, because these have all merged together now, is it just like yeah. five at once or...? No, nope, it's they stay in packs of six. Even if they lose their number, that's still one pack. Oh, okay. So that group of two and that group of one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this pack is basically shifted, and they're just going to move. Um, and they're going to basically move a little bit closer. Surrounding to Quill. Lucius. Quill. At the start of your turn, Quill. That's um, one, two, uh, three, four. four. Uh, so 28 points of slashing damage. Okay. Oh boy. Um, do I have to roll concentration for 28, or is uh, it like individual hits? Like it would be for 28. Okay. All right. So it's so like need... one massive attack. You're taking damage from one source. Okay. That's uh, the eye it's only. Gone. It's only. Oh yeah, because you got two spells. Yeah, the eye is gone, and uh, 11, 28, 14. I need to beat right. Yes. Sunbeam's gone, which is probably fine, fine. actually. <laughs> I was, if that had res remained when you started your turn, another pack would have shown up. I would have used it again, though, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I had a good blast in mind. That's frustrating. That's gone. Um, so you're just, like, just being swarmed on all sides by these things. And, like, you can see that they, you know, they don't take much to be destroyed. Yeah. And it's a number. It's just, yeah. And yeah. one of them on their own wouldn't pose a threat to you. It's because they're in these massive numbers. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, it's a chance to use a lot of stuff that you've not used before. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the area around me at the moment is not terrible, and everyone has taken a significant chunk of damage. I'm going to do a mass cure wounds. So 60 feet of range. Nice. Um, and it is six creatures, so that's all of us, pretty Including much. Dowser? Including Dowser. Nice. Okay. Um, 3d8 plus six. I know that kind of nullifies your um, aura of life thing currently. Look, because you, no, right? you, you get protection from necrotic. You get True. resistance. Um, so 3d8 hard. plus six. Oh, pretty good. 14, 18. 24 healing to everyone. Dowser, uh, Dowser's eyes flutter open. <laughs> um, cool. 24, yeah. Uh, and that is pretty much my turn. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, bonus actions I'm a little light on, so that's fine. Yeah? I'll go with oh, that. I'm included in that, right? 24. All right. Yeah, everyone. Another pack activity. Sweet. And Nova. Yeah, I've done Nova. I'm doing Nova before me because for some reason I'm caring more about yeah, <laughs> making no, sure Nova's yeah. all right no, than Lucius. I, I think that makes a lot of sense. I would I'd also, be the same. I hate running other people's characters when they're not there. So this pack is going to activate and then they're going to use their frenzied rush to oh basically boy. swarm Ayla. Okay. Yep. Um, and that means they're going to walk through you as part of this Ayla as well, technically. Um, and that is going to be 36 necrotic damage. 
But that is, they can't use that again now. Uh, and then that's going to be that pack's go. Lucius. Lucius is going to messenger ring the Storm Chaser. Yes. And say, when you see my light, please attack it. Okay. Oh, no. I'm then going to shout to Nova, Nova, get to us now. Uh -huh. And I'm going to hold my action until uh -huh. Nova moves and cast Lucius's luscious light, basically in the area where all of those skellies okay. are, where nice. Nova is. At the start of your turn, Lucius, you would have taken... Uh, Six. They're being scratched to hell. Same as me. Tw yeah, 28. So 24, sorry. 24. Slashing damage. Um, so that's it. Okay. Can I quicken that spell? Even though I'm holding the action. No, it, would really. be, it would be pointless too. I'm just thinking that it. if I disengage, then I wouldn't be it. Um, no, because the, to hold an action has to be an action. Oh, right, you yeah, can't yeah. hold a bonus action. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's me. Rules quirk. Yeah. Nice. All right. You are concentrating on this. On doing the spell, yeah. So I'm basically going to cast Lucius's Luscious Light and then dismiss it as quickly as I can. It's uh -huh. basically after they've attacked. I know it's going to cause a huge noise anyway from the attack. Yeah. Does Luscious Lights make a noise? I don't know. It's kind of like a modified. It used to be a Hadar spell. It was, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Where yeah. it made ra writhing noises and stuff. I think it's anything uh, inside the sphere. It doesn't make noise, like... but it does make bright light. Uh, yeah. It's basically the inverse of the... Uh, Troc, can you roll a d4 for me? Yep. One, two, three, four. Two. Two. Ow. Sorry about the mic there, everyone. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, mic my head. So as the luscious light emerges, yeah, another pack seems to crawl out of the woods. All right. Um, so you're holding your action as soon as Nova acts. They're going to do their thing. I've just activated another pack. They basically swarm towards Sentry and Lucius. Um, and then it's Nova's go at the start of Nova's turn. Nova is going to take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times six, 30, 36. 36. Six necrotic. Uh, no, uh, just normal slashing, this one. Because they've not done their rush. Um, okay. and then, so concerned. I'm concerned. <laughs> and then I guess she would misty step. She would misty step away from them. <laughs> so where do you want her to misty step to? Like back over there towards you guys? Uh, I did request towards us, so I guess she would come in swinging. <laughs> so 30 feet, she could go. Kim was here, she'd go. And <laughs> 20. She can actually kind of get. Get behind? Uh, yeah, she can get on top of like next to one of these things. Okay. Far because away from where the lights will appear. Because she's there, then I might just do her four Eldritch Blasts. Sure. Are they going to be loud? No. Uh, Eldritch Blast won't be loud, no. All right, cool. Uh, well, before she does that, the held action goes off. So this is lush as light. Yeah, so let's do that first. Um, What's the radius of that thing? That bad boy is 150 foot range, so I can basically put it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it's a 20 foot radius. That's, the, that's the whole thing, basically. Wow. Where's the best place? Basically, to do that? I'm just going to pick the best spot so to not hit us. There. You'll hit the you'll scout. You'll hit six. Yeah, you'll hit scout or you'll hit dowser. If you don't want to hit dowser, I don't really want to hit dowser. Um, Where the new pack is. Yeah, you can do a new pack. Where do you want it? But you, I think you wanted Nova to move, right? So it'd probably be these guys. I don't think I'd notice them swarming towards me. I'd be focused on this this group here. Nova. I mean, there's a full six. Is you're going to be hitting six either way. Yeah. All yeah. right. But so. No, he, no, yeah, we can I, position I avoided down, so. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. So deck save of 18 for all They fail. Them. They fail, so it's... Uh, I'll cast it at this regular level because it's mostly for a beacon. That's just 2d6 on all of them. Okay. And that is a solid five points. Okay, five points. Hold. But it does create this, this big sphere of sort of light, yeah. shimmering blue and orange light that seems to radiate. Um, it completely covers the area they're, they're in. Uh, yeah. But you also then also hear a kind of terrain. Yes. Uh, you hear a <laughs> um, as something from the air. <sighs> I now need to roll. Uh, so, on a uh, thirteen to six, it misses by a small degree. On a five or less, it misses by a large degree. Uh -huh. Anything higher, it's precise. 
Seven. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. By a small degree. Just. So, can you, Chris Trot, roll a D8 and a D4 for me? So, direction one, and distance. One yes. being that way, and yep. then we'll go round counterclockwise and then distance. One, two, three. The D8 is a six, and the D4 is a two, four. Three, four. Dowser? <laughs> six. So dead. By four? Four. Can you pass me the plate, please? <laughs> so, there on that tree. It just know. explodes. One, well, this, well, we don't know the explosion radius of the shot, right? No, it's ten foot. Ten foot. So it actually just clips that group. Still, it still oh, hits that group. God. Just um, does the tent explode? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh God. Yeah. Well, if it was on the middle of, if it was on the middle of the Hadar, yeah, it was about the same space. So, yeah, it does just about clip them, um, and those guys Ooh. all die. Nice. <laughs> How loud? Uh, you don't see anything because the luscious light is kind of covering it. It is very loud. Okay. As soon as that explodes, Scary. I am dismissing the luscious light. Okay. You dismiss the luscious light. You see that the earth is all churned up as, yeah, this arcane turret has fired a force projectile and annihilated that group. Well, that works. <laughs> it does. Can you roll a d4 for me, Chris Trot? Oh, <laughs> two. Two, one, two. Same on this side. Oh, so the, what is that, east, west side? Northwest? Yes, north, uh, east. If we go north is to away oh, okay. from me, east. Okay. So they're coming in. So we have more coming in from the eastern side. The um, north is pretty clear, to be honest. Oh, no, wait. They're all surrounding us. Now Nova's turn goes off. Do. So from her position, she will Eldritch Blast the four closest creatures that's surrounding Quill and Lucas, okay. I'm guessing. Sure. Just to ward them off. Yeah. Um, so Eldritch Blast. What is that? Uh, it's a plus 11. <laughs> Yeah, that's 29 and uh, 21. Okay. 1d10 plus 5. Why did you roll twice? Oh, it's 4, isn't it? Yeah, I'll do two more. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> oh, 2 I, I plus 11, 13. Miss. So 3 hit. 3 hit. And d10 plus something. What ones are they against? Five, the ones two. against, yeah, once you and Lucius, he said. 10 points for the first one. Uh, ten points of damage. Mm -hmm. Survives. Next one is, oh, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> thirteen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thirteen survives. Oh, nine. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, survives. So, yep. So damaged, but all of them still standing. Do they also, those ones that are next to this death route? Do they also, that they're, they're the stronger ones now, right? Thank you for reminding me. Ah, uh, some of them. Uh, as they get impacted by the Eldritch Blast. The others were too far away for this to, to affect them, mm -hmm. but these ones, as the Eldritch Blast hits them, yeah, some of that damage seems to be absorbed. Uh, the first 10 points of damage they take is ignored. So they are barely scratched. I think from that point... Those guys turned up, 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 those as much like the, that swarm's gonna come in yeah. on Nova. This swarm's gonna come in on those guys. They can all move double anyway, so wherever only you once, her, only once. Yeah, they're, I know, but they're gonna move in a very hand, like so. true. simple way, aren't they? Towards the closest thing. Yeah, is a hive mind. Yeah, they, so. they seem to just go towards whatever's closest. I like reckon they, Al Al Alnissus, they just rampaged over because yeah. it was the closest thing. They yeah. just like get it. Does think, Nova have the wisdom to spot the group behind her? She's yeah. just like blinked there and it's like, I'm behind cover from the Nova group. Doesn't <laughs> have dark yes. Nova doesn't have dark vision and there are currently no lights activated. So I, I would say. She would have had disadvantage on those attacks as well. Uh, no, those ones are close enough, I think okay. I wouldn't have given. But like, I don't think she would spot this group behind her because it's only just coming out the tree line. Yeah. Kim would be furious. My role, like. Kim would have absolutely gone over there. She would there. have gone <laughs> fucked off over there. Yeah. Um, I think Nova's going to see Ayla and move into that group. So, like, move ne like, into yeah, combat? Yeah, behind that rock. Okay. So a bit of back cover. All right. And sure. then get in there. Okay. It's totally another thing. To yeah. Do. <laughs> so hard to tell. I'm gonna... Like, you want to use her effectively, but you also don't want to just kill her. He's repurposing. I've got to. <laughs> I've also got to fit new dudes in. <laughs> so let me get rid of these guys. Eh. Oh, 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 Quill's dead! Quill! <laughs> he keeps dying. Eh. 
these two boys. Now you can fit a little restraint token in there. No, nope, they've just surrounded me again. <laughs> oh man, he's got so many to use. <laughs> Is that how it works? He's got so many. Is that how this works? That's yeah. how well, it physically yeah, I mean, can work. <laughs> I'm surprised you had this many, and and you are repurposing them as well. <laughs> Just <laughs> grabbing and clawing at everything. Give them but... to me. <laughs> I want my skeletons. <laughs> Give me my skeletons. Uh, <laughs> all right. So all the packs have activated. Every one of you has taken a turn. The yeah. dead root, uh, which <laughs> was very useless phone. last time. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my skeletons. Give me my skeletons. Uh, no, wasn't it hit both of them last time? Uh, that's true because of the, the advantage. Yeah, you're right. Um, this time, it hasn't taken any of that. Uh, wonder if what spells are active? In chat. <laughs> You've got a thing that stops uh, necromatic thing, doesn't it? It's yeah. really early in the morning. Or what if I think it's the only okay. concentration? Yeah. The dead root pulses. <sighs> the flowers seem to. They don't open. You can see all of its flowers are currently like buds. They're not open yet, um, but there's like a pulse of like magic. What spell level is Aura Vitality? Fourth level. Fourth level. It is dispelled as it casts Dispel Magic. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> That's its turn though. We go to the top of a new round. Can you roll a d4 for me, Thomas? Yeah? What's a d4? Three. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah, oh, fuck. Right by Aelin. I already have a whole pack. <laughs> now that someone has laughed at what's the d4, I'm going to stop saying it. Aelin. For another year. 36 slashing, half to 18. Um, okay. I've Woo. I found a way to make you afraid. <laughs> this Numbers. is spooky as hell. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean, you, you're all okay. You're all above half health at the moment. Yeah, like, but can it stop? That's, yeah, seems to be. This is turn also, we've got no idea, three. Like, we've got no idea how long we have to hold for, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, it's turn three. And even then, what happens when we held for long enough? Like, two dudes are going to come out of the forest like, we're here to help, and then just get swarmed. <laughs> oh, they walk and that's when the uh, and get what, blasted what, by storm trees. What is it when it's uh, in XCOM, it's the alien ruler? That's when I have the alien ruler turn up. Oh, oh no. Don't do that. <laughs> so, Ayla, your turn. I just hate You want to get get whacking? I guess. Yeah. Something I can do. Five plus the 15, That's so 20. Hits. I love seeing you guys, like, you're really thinking. I can see Trot's just like... How do I not kill Nova is my thinking. Yeah. She's going to kill me. 26 damage. <laughs> Which one do you want to kill, by the way? Because this might affect, like, a, a Nova being uh, damaged. The one closer to the root. Uh, <laughs> that one. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a strength save from you and Nova, by the way. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me do that first. Yes, I got a nineteen. Yeah, you do need to do it first because you might get. Yeah, yeah. I think you're um, fine. But I got a nineteen plus two, yep. I think, or minus two actually. So seventeen. Still uh, I rolled a net one. So the second attack misses. But aura. Aura. Yeah. But aura. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> 18 lightning. She just manages to destroy one. Which one would you like to destroy? Another one near Nova? That one, yeah. Yep, this one. Uh, another strength saving throw from you, Nova, please. God damn. Stop making me roll for her. Nat 20. You're fine. Nat 20. Great. You're both fine. <laughs> Neither of you are strained, like pulling through of all these weeds. Like as these things fall down, they're just literally. The ground is like now this like weird shit. mix of bones and skulls but also this plant matter and you're now like stood on like m mounds of like plant matter and bones that are filling up underneath you mm. um like i've removed a lot of it but that central area i'm just going to count that all as difficult just terrain mess. it's just a mess of terrain at the moment um plant gore. i'm gonna do one pack I'll see how we're going to do in five minutes, how much we get through, and then we're going to probably have to take a cliffhanger break. Oh, oh no. And Let's just keep to going. be a right old <laughs> butthead. Don't do it. Whatever it is. <laughs> no, not that pack. Yeah. No. This is why I moved Nova. <laughs> oh, I am going to get absolutely swarmed here. Yeah. And Lucius as well, to a lesser extent. So. These guys move up, and then, yeah, in a frenzied rush. Actually, yes, that group. 
Oh. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my nasty shit. <laughs> Lucius and Quill you both take 36 necrotic damage. 36. Oh. Wait, do they swarm right through us? Yes. I love how you're just you didn't even stand uh, them up, you just no, dumped no, them in a pile in the middle. Pond dispelled it. Yep. So these things just rush past you and oh my almost, God. Ah, as you like these things tear at you and this time as they strike you like their claw marks leave these black lines of barbs and thorns that seem to sap your strength as they do so. Um, sentry. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to go loud. Um, <clears throat> can I... Is that a gap I can get through? Those two skelly men's behind me. You can move through. You can move through these creatures. They just count as difficult terrain. So it's like an extra five feet to move through them. Right. So um, is there any attack of opportunity or? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm, not doing, I'm not doing any of that shit. Come in cool. for a closer look. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go. So I'm five, ten, fifteen. Can I go here? Yes, you yes, absolutely can. Sick. Um, oh no, you have oh, really God. lined them up now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I will point out, ah. Sentinel Prime, Dowser is right yeah. here. Yeah. I would like to. Yes. Do Destructive Wave. What? Oh, that? oh it's a new, new spell. New, new spell I've had ready for oh. this. Um, so. It's really loud. It's really loud. It's really fucking loud. Under damage. Oh fuck! (laughs) No. I I got a little. I got a little six six pack ready to go. (laughs) Um, Do it. Do three. (laughs) No, no, Rhiannon, do it. (laughs) I'm. (laughs) So um, I strike the ground, creating a burst of divine energy that ripples out from me. Each creature I choose within thirty feet of me must succeed on a Constitution saving throw or take five d six thunder damage, as well as five d six radiant or necrotic damage. Each creature you choose. So you just avoid. Yeah, I can. And it's every creature within thirty feet of you. That's a twenty foot radius. (laughs) This Um, is twenty. Yeah, that's a that's a twenty foot. We don't have a circle big enough. I'm clearing a path. So Basically everything I would in say, the middle. If you wanted to, Re, yep. moving into the middle, into the middle, you could basically hit everything. I think yeah. you also yeah. where you are now, though, you think you can catch that group. Also, at, the back. at the start of your turn, you were like here, weren't yeah. you? Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times six necrotic. Forty. Uh, sorry, again. slashing. Forty-two, 42 slashing. Forty-two slashing. Yeah, at the start of your turn. All right. So it's up your choice. You can go where you are now. Yeah. And you're going to catch how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd say seven of them in your current location. Mm-hmm. If you move into the middle, you will be able to hit every single one of these. Well, let's hit all just of them. not the group at the edge. Yeah, just or, or this group around Ada and stuff. Yeah. I'm going to hit all of them. All right. I imagine it like, like you're like on the campfire at this point. Yeah. I picture like a like a like a matrix charge where it's like, oh, shit. like and then she slams the um, star, break. star break into the ground it's like a pulse of radiant light <laughs> that comes oh out. my god are you doing oh, yeah. radiant or necrotic damage like radiant please interesting so it's 10 d oh, it's constitution 17. Why, right, they fail the save uh-huh. can you roll the thunder oh, yeah. damage for me oh, yeah. just as it is okie dokie so i looked it will catch all of the ones around ayla except the one in front of her um, oh, right, okay. One, but oh, none okay. of the ones in the, the sides, yeah. It's also going to spawn another pack. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, how yeah, much yeah. are you getting rid of here? Five. So, five well, damage. We'll find out. Two, four, six, ten, thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. thunder damage, yeah. yeah. And then radiant. What's better? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, nineteen. Radiant. So, this is interesting. I need to do some maths. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Divide 158 by 19. 158 divided by 19 is approximately 8.3. 8.3. So, as you fire the shockwave, the thunder damage ripples through and the echo spreads through the forest sentry. And you see that the bones of these creatures vibrate, nearly breaking them apart, but not quite enough. As the radiant energy follows it, the dead roots flowers open. Uh, what? And the divine energy is pulled into it. No! For some of them, it is going to choose to take seven of the creatures' radiant damage into itself, 
So it takes seven times 19 radiant damage oh. on itself, um, but it will leave uh, seven, seven of them alive, alive basically. Right. Uh, and I get to pick which ones, unfortunately. Um, so. so is this like two pulses of energy, the thunder yeah. and then just the radiant wave like two ripples, yeah, that's cool. Almost like a nuclear bomb sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the blast and the shock the wave. Shock wave yeah. yeah. Cool. How blasted do these things get as well? Free, like the like blasted. just nothing left or a huge mass of ju- things just surrounding her just get blasted away. Well, there goes my nasty turn. <laughs> I was going to do turn undead. <laughs> oh, that's oh, slightly <laughs> there. I mean, the, you can still do it. Let's get nasty. Within thirty feet, destroy undead, and they auto fail six, uh, saves. <laughs> well, you could still do it. There's still loads. There's still yeah. more coming. I think we need to just focus down this death route, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, this was loud as hell. <laughs> Haven't been able to so far. Uh, can you roll a d4 for me, please, Rian? Oh, this is going to be the last thing we do today. Surrounded, so we can get to it. Fucking There it is. Two. It's <laughs> always that face. They love this side. Yeah. The eastern <laughs> side. All right. I'll sort those out next week. As, yeah, Sentry, your kind of blast ripples through and you watch as the, the dead root absorbs some of the divine power into itself, taking some of that damage, um, leaving several of these other ones alive because it does also stop 10 points of damage to all of them. Um, yeah, it seems to... So a, lot, a huge swathe of them collapse, uh, bursting into things. We can make saving throws. I feel like no we point. should just be like, you guys are get restrained. But at this point, I don't think it matters massively. Um, yeah, the dead root does look weak, heavily weakened by that as it absorbs all of that damage in. But on the sides, you see more of these yeah. things coming. You see more coming coming from the side. And still no word from the scouts of how long you need to hold out for. Oh, man. And uh, there's still seven surrounding us in the middle as well, those ones that survived the, yeah. mm-hmm. the wave. Yep. And Ooh. that is where we're going to leave it this week, and we'll pick this oh up. Not next. Next week, for the week after. We'll yeah. see you in two weeks' time. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. We love you. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.